sucks. Yeah, my my yeah, internet. Nick, I'll allow I'll allow you to record too, Nick. And uh, Dalton, <laughs> Dalton, why don't you just hang tight, all right, buddy? <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad that I'm glad that you know I would have no idea how to do that. You press a fucking press a fucking button, the, uh, the, Robbie. Please, you're overwhelming him. Me you with actually- buttons is like Dee Dee and Dexter's laboratory. Okay. <laughs> 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 do you actually want me to record no, no just, we're good, Nick. if you want Thank to you, you can i don't no, care yeah yeah just so i can just so i can have the raw a, a file. copy for you a copy for the yeah. guest you can uh put it on your reel yeah <laughs> you could release yeah. it as a, as a demo track yeah i'm gonna yeah. burn it on the dvds and hand it out on hollywood boulevard oh, yeah nice. yeah we gotta like yeah we should go to the beach and be like yo man yo man you want to check out our, our incel podcast <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> honestly that's the future now that they're deplatforming everybody we're gonna have to take bootlegs to like uh times square and try and hand them out to people to to get our yeah, name get, out there get, getting oh, arrested yeah, in times square uh it was the original deplatforming they've deplatformed that elmo a lot of times <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Loud Boys, everybody. We've got a great guest, uh, oh, my friend, yeah. of, of Coward Hour fame. Uh, has, <laughs> just got done lecturing some Mexican teens, which is why he has a background of <laughs> Bugs Bunny spray painted. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, uh, hip hop Looney Tunes. Yeah, dude. Uh, Nick Oldershaw clap. is is here. What's up, guys? What's Hello, up, dude? Nick? Oh, I'm pumped How to be you here, man. Going? Thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, I threw these. I did. I threw up hip hop Looney Tunes because I, uh, because like I was, I was at like 5 a.m. my time. A bunch of Spaniards were like asking me questions because our friends teaching over there, Uh-oh. and they were asking me questions about like what's it like to like be a successful comedian in LA. So I like did not want them to see my room. So I was like, <laughs> so I just I just like threw up a background. I was like, okay. This yeah, they like could relate to. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's the Zoom equivalent of sitting down in a chair backwards, <laughs> 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 and, and, and saying, "Let's rap." Yeah, let me let me connect <laughs> with these kids. How do I teach these kids? You said you said they were from Spain. They're in Spain. They're in Spain. How familiar are they with Mex- like uh, American culture? Um, not very. They had a lot of questions about it. Uh, so like, did it, did, you didn't try to tell them that the that those were like Drake and Future and uh, like Danny Brown or something. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm hanging out with the coolest rappers in America right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're Spanish, Dalton. They can see what that they're cartoons and not real people. <laughs> <laughs> but they no, they've never seen black people. For all they know, this is what black people look like is Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> rap it season <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck uh, rabbit season duck season but he's shot by an unarmed but he's shot by a policeman <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> blm season capital season <laughs> yeah blm <laughs> season <laughs> be very quiet i'm hunting blacks <laughs> oh god <laughs> thank you and good night so um, where can I find you on social media <laughs> we've been recording for what two minutes like, yeah, Dude, we're off to the races man <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't waste no time on this show we're, we're off to the racist <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, don't worry, Nick. We'll get to every race by the time this show yeah. is over. Okay, we're the, exactly. Lisa, we're yeah. the Lisa Lampanelli of podcasting. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it in post, baby. Wait, we're motivational speakers now? Mm-hmm. She, is if she we, doing that, too? She yeah, died, she, yes. But we, we are she, trying to motivate people to storm the Capitol. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. Again. <laughs> let's make it a once a month let's make it a quarterly thing yep. <laughs> it was a quarter one capital quarter two is going to be better i think mm-hmm. yeah um oh yeah so this is our first episode of the biden administration so we had on uh, the so-called yeah. biden administration so-called so-called so, so i had What's nick on i want to nick come on to discuss the disgraceful steal <laughs> i mean I'll tell you what, I'm still upset about it, and I think a lot of people are still upset about it because we all know that what's happening right now is not a legal and law or lawful presidency. Mm-hmm. No, but I have a lot of I do actually have a lot of faith that that Trump is going to make a midseason return. 
Yeah. <laughs> Don't you guys th- like? There's no. He's gonna come back, dude. He's yeah, gonna dude. show up like the Undertaker. <laughs> my <laughs> God, that's Donald Trump's music. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Donald Trump with the steel chair. <laughs> you can't stop this steel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we joke, but he that was he he, he kind of did that when Ted Cruz did the RNC. Uh, oh, absolutely, dude. Ted Cruz is like, don't vote for Donald Trump. And then Trump came in from the back. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> was, he, the, was he late? He wasn't supposed to be there. He <laughs> stormed it right after after Ted said, like, he's not supposed to show up at all until his speech. And after Ted was like, don't vote for him, it was like, boo. And then Trump yeah. came in from the back of the room. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> There have been so many <laughs> fucking moments. I completely forgot about that. I know, dude. dude it's, how many people like in headsets with clipboards? Do you think he just like pushed past to just like make or like? Oh, was yeah. Right. Like was no, or did they like play music for him? And shit? Like was it like a coordinated entrance? I can't. It wasn't coordinated. No, it wasn't coordinated at all. But it never was, seen it was, anything like that. It was full wrestling. It was like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was sports like, yeah. entertainment. Yeah, it was the it first was... time, and like nobody knew how to react or comprehend because like. They'd lived their whole they had lived their whole lives like, oh well, you know, this is how it's supposed to be done. This is how we're gonna do it, because it's always been that way. And and finally an agent of chaos yeah. made his way into the the uh, <laughs> Yeah. No. We also forgot we also forgot how much fun everyone was willing to have with Trump before he got elected. Like I was rewatching uh, some of the Republican debates, some of the greatest debates of all time. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh tier tier one television, dude. It's fucking incredible. As, have you ever been like I I can't miss this fourth debate ever? That was like the only, that was like the only time in history that's ever been the case. Yeah. But um, but if you rewatch those, it's surreal because the audience is cheering like it's America's Got Talent or something. It's so so like they're he got woo, a, yeah woo, 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 woo. There's like a yeah, lot dude. of that. I mean, who is more naturally talented than Donald J. Trump though? Nobody. Because I mean, Not a- you know say what you will about him he somehow worked his way into the white house it does, you can't just do that that Don't takes not, a certain he <laughs> really say, can't what, say what you will about him and make sure that it's nice things that's 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 the yeah respect the office you have to well you gotta respect the office you gotta respect the guy in it <laughs> and he's did a great yeah. job he did, yeah. uh, that's and you know what that's the biggest problem i have with all of this he did a good job <laughs> <Nobody> can, <laughs> every time every time somebody says he didn't do a good job i say oh yeah name three things that weren't too good they were all pretty good dude <laughs> they're pretty good dude they mm-hmm. were pretty, it was a pretty good it was a pretty Ew. fun it it felt like i mean I just can't believe I, I kind of refuse to believe that he's gone. I think there's a little bit of play acting going on right now. I have I have faith he's going to come back. It Nick, doesn't I, feel real. Yeah, I, yeah. I just want to say on behalf of all the loud boys, thank you for finally being honest for, for coming for finally being able to speak the truth, because uh, too many of these too many libtards have been coming on here and 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 going against what what the loud boys are all about man which is which, which is sure we get four more years for our boy donnie t which is <laughs> which is full-throatedly putting ourselves behind donald trump <laughs> now yeah now that, look, now that I, like, yeah. I can't stop calling him the president even though i know it's yeah. not true Still my president. Well, still, you still have to call I'm, him the president. I'm still right? writing Donald Trump on all of my checks. <laughs> Dude, I, bet, I, bet, I bet the next movement is, is going to be like a, a waiter, like a waitress courageously calls him Mr. Trump instead of Mr. President. And it's going to be like a whole think piece on how like, it's like brave of her not to call him Mr. President anymore. But then there's going to be people like you have to respect the office. See, to me, if you calling Donald Trump by his name and not the president is like dead naming. Like, I think they should change. <laughs> 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 it should be like Elliot uh, Smith. They I need to go back to his. Forty-five. <laughs> they need to go has, back to his Wikipedia he pro- article. He has pronouns in his bio on Twitter, but it's president <laughs> slash pres. <laughs> <laughs> His wiki page should just be the president, like like born the president. <laughs> Did you Oops, see that? Now, like, I'm non-binary yeah. now. You have to let me back on Twitter. You gotta let me back in. I'm non-binary. I'm they them. What can I say? I'm this. I'm that. I'm they. Whatever you want me to be, just put me back on the platform. It's gonna be great. They're gonna love me. They're gonna love me. All these all these weird cuckoo things I am now. It's un- it's unbelievable. <laughs> 
non-binary Trump. That's his pivot. I swear to God, he's got to do it. He can't. He's he will do it. There's no he way he can to. lose. They it's sad he's to. not on Twitter anymore. Oh, I got dude, gotta get him. <laughs> yeah, we were back. robbed. We were robbed of just some glorious tweets. As far could... dude, the, the internet died late December 2020 because that's when Trump got. No, 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 no. It was January. early January. Yeah. Early. Okay. So early. Yeah. Early January. Cause that's when Trump got kicked off Twitter and flash went down and it's like, why the fuck are we even on this thing? Oh Thinking my gosh. Facebook? Oh, that's Ugh. right. Yeah. They, right. uh, flash is done for. No so, more, weird. No more Ezra Miller videos. Yeah. <laughs> Ezra Miller. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they should let Trump back on just to live tweet the Oscars. I think they should let him, let him do that. Dude, at this point, let him fucking be there. Let him host. Like, that's the only, like, they, they need to, number one, nobody's going to watch this year unless you get Trump. You got to get Trump. No. You gotta and number Trump. two, yeah, let him fucking, let him live tweet, like, in-person hosting. Who do you yeah. think going to be, like, the fucking, uh, who do you think's going to be, like, the next comic to do, like, the fucking White House Correspondence Dinner? Probably fucking Stephen Colbert. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, God, they're probably going to have him and it's like, it's nice that I can do this and not have to be sarcastic. Like, no, it's, it's going to be fu- it's going to be Sarah Cooper. No, you Sarah say, Cooper, she, hate her. She did the DNC, dude. She I want like, it to be uh, Sebastian. I think Sebastian <laughs> should host it and not even address any of the politicians. Damn, what did they bring back? Just, he just, just does just all talk Italian. About, like, his mom's like fucking cooking. Yeah, dude, he's just talking about <laughs> shit that annoys him just in general. <laughs> Only jokes about Fauci and Cuomo, but just like, <laughs> hey, 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 these guys wouldn't know Azidi if it hit him in the fucking face. Anyway, my mom's backstage, and let me tell you, pandemic, she could wash a few of her pants. That's the pandemic, my mom's kitchen. It's a crisis. Dude, yeah. I saw uh, a couple days ago one of his specials popped up on my like Amazon feed. And you know how like a lot of special covers, you see somebody doing something goofy with the microphone, like they hold yeah. it to their head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has the best one of that where he he's holding the mic. But it's also like sp- the cord is <laughs> spilling into a bowl. Like it looks like he's holding a bowl of spaghetti, but it's the <laughs> mic cord, and he's using the mic to eat the spaghetti. Oh uh, my god! You know we laugh, <laughs> we laugh, but he's the only one serving the identity politics for Italians, and he's the biggest sensation. <laughs> like it's imagine if there was like one black comic. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what he's doing for Italian people. And he's That's like, true, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. There's, there's one black comic. He's got a KFC bucket full of microphones. He's like, biting everyone. <laughs> <one. laughs> I do like that idea. <laughs> it's all old timey. Yeah, wow. Too. Sebastian. Like- Sebastian's doing like a white guy's racist impression of an Italian person, and Italians are eating it up. They're dude, like, they love it. that's us, dude. <laughs> dude, I've been going on Instagram and just following nothing but Italian accounts, and most of them are just posting <laughs> clips of Sebastian. Like, most of these Italian accounts are just like so true, and it's just a clip of Sebastian. That I'm telling you, because like, even amongst black people, there's like a bunch of black comics we've never heard of that they like that. It's like a heat like there's a big market for it. No one's yeah. serving the Italians and they aren't white. I'll say it. I agree. <laughs> I've been saying that for years, Robbie. Thank you. That's what Chris, that's what Chris said on a Talking Sopranos. Uh, They're talking about the census. He's like, I don't say I'm white on there. And Bobby was like, <laughs> wait, really? He's like, yeah, I'm Italian. I'm not white. I don't identify as white. <laughs> It's like, oh my god, that rules! Wow, <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm shocked that fucking Michael Imperioli feels that way. I know, I know. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm half Arab. I have to, I still have to put I'm white and everything because Arabs are Caucasian technically. Yeah, well, aren't like, aren't like Asian people Caucasian too? No, no, no. they're Asian. They are they're Asian. Y- yeah, Island Pacific Islander. That's what I, I could, I could claim Asian, but I feel like that's gonna fuck up their, I don't know, test results, and they love those. <laughs> Joe, what? <laughs> I, I put it down Asian. You yeah, put it down no. Asian? Yeah, why not? Are you I, Asian? The better schools on my mom's side. Oh, nice. But like nobody knows. <laughs> nobody could tell. It's not like I'm fucking, you know, walk around. And I don't get on any of the Asian diversity comedy shows. So does it really count? I shouldn't even put it on the census, really, because yeah, I'm not getting on any diversity shows. So it means nothing. I'm gonna start I, putting I, white. 
yeah, I've thought about like when I get the census, I'm like, what have I, I've, I've thought about just like taking a stab, just like checking something I could pass for, like Mexican. I don't then have a, a Lebanese box, but I'm like, <laughs> on a do, on, on a sunny day, I could pass for Lebanese. Yeah, you yeah. kind of have like Serge Tanky and facial hair right now. You could probably pass for Armenian. Yeah. yeah. Well, white. Just, they're white. Just say you're oh, Tim really? Pool. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll say that I'm the race Tim Pool. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah man but yeah. uh sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to get off on a tangent about uh lying about my race that's what it's this this group. podcast is all about it's, tangents it's, yeah dude oh, that's yeah, you, this that's podcast is all about, about lying about your race well, wait dalton are you so like everybody who's dalton are you mixed or are you pure? i'm sorry i'm pointing at you with a toothbrush um dalton's are you pure you're pure no, i don't know i uh really inbred <laughs> No, shut up. <laughs> there was, between between Joe and Dalton, if I was gonna guess who is half Asian, I would guess Dalton. I do have He's very half sumo on his mom's side. That's because Asian people also look like women. The men. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do pass as Asian. I would say. I, I would say. I have very soft Asian-like features. You Dalton, know? aren't you? Aren't you Cuban? That's what I was told is my granddad was from Cuba or something like that. But that's another it's another thing where I'm like, I have no idea. Oh, wait, I'm do- sorry. You're a quarter Cubert. <laughs> QAnon. A quarter QAnon. <laughs> I'm a quarter QAnon, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Damn. I should yeah, you know, it- all do those 23 and me or. Uh, no, dude, because they. Com. They take your data and like I don't know. I don't want to take your data, dude. Like if we, 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 the fact that we're on Facebook and Twitter, like that, that probably gave us just. They probably gave him just as much data. What's yeah. another I mean, like? What's another little vial of spit, baby? We get to. Find dude, out I won't even. Parents. Dude, I won't even come inside of a woman. I because I don't want anyone having my DNA. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I refuse to bust inside for privacy concerns. Exactly, dude. <laughs> I don't, I, I, cause I, I didn't, I didn't read the privacy agreement before we had sex, but I'm sure there's something in there about if I bust inside, she gets, she gets like proprietary custody. Cut, yeah. yeah. So it's like, you know, when, when I have sex with a woman, I make them uh, check a bunch of uh, boxes for uh, traffic lights to prove they're not a robot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, fuck Damn. Him. That would suck. Yeah. That would that would completely suck to like come inside a woman and just start getting like targeted ads for like small condoms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sick of other guys having bigger dicks than you? What? No, I didn't say anything. What the fuck is this? <laughs> or what if you what if you bust inside and you just start seeing ads for like Infamil and Huggies and you're like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the internet knows before e- either one of you do. <laughs> well, dude, you know what? I talked about this on an episode of Carrot Hour, but there's this ad that I keep getting on Facebook that's definitely not for me. It's um, it's mag, it's an ad for Magnums, and Ooh. the ad is just like this hot black dude just like laying on his side, and it just says, "She already know how I play," and then it just says Magnum condoms. <laughs> Hell yeah. and I'm like, that's not, like number one, there don't need to be ads for Magnums. Like you can't like it's a need that you're fulfilling. You're not gonna like that is I'm definitely not gonna buy them now. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's really fucking weird. <laughs> Well, Wait. at any point, did you Google big black cock? <laughs> <laughs> and Facebook was like, well, this guy must have, have one. If he's, if he's Googling it. He's probably, you know, trying to get some medical information. That's why I looked it up. We need to help him out. And get... <laughs> I'm just saying it's such a weird like if you don't like trying to market like there's a there's a limited amount. You know, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like you don't need to market big sized condoms. People who need that will just buy. Well, I, mean, I guess it could be like a gift. I mentioned this, though, but Magnums now they made them smaller. So now they're for like average to slightly above average penises. And the real Magnums are called Magnum XL. So it's a complete vanity uh, uh, label. Now. So now yeah. I got to get Magnum XLs. So you probably saw them because they're like, okay, guys with small dicks, let's advertise to them. Right, and, exactly. uh, and so now, so it's for, it's for guys with average dicks. Like, you know, I don't know who, maybe who could say really not me, but anyways, but it's guys like me and uh, who like want to feel a little better about themselves. Right. And uh, so they get Magnums uh, and they're like, this fits. Oh my God, I must be fucking packing. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a total it's like it's like the new four loco you know it's like i'm getting oh, fucked yeah. up and it's like a fucking beer basically it's like yeah. nah man you missed the boat you missed the true fun you missed the you fun missed the, four loco that's true yeah, yeah. It used to, it used to be a point of pride back in the day if you bought a, a box of magnums and now it's like you know same as any other condom these days mm-hmm. yeah dude was, one could say it's a trojan a horse a hand basket yeah we're gonna bring back the big magnums let me tell you <laughs> Yeah, man, they should have fucking abolished condoms altogether. Honestly, I'm with you there, man. Yeah, shit's dude. awkward, dude. The pullout well, method fucking the pullout method works. It's just like guys never want to admit like when they came inside a, a person. So like they're like, "Damn, did you wear a condom?" It's like, "No." It's like, "Well, did you pull out?" It's like, "Yeah," you know. But they didn't, dude. They so what are you inside. talking about? Why would you, <laughs> why would you not admit it? Why would you roll those dice? <laughs> What? Like, it dude, I think this is what you've done because I would never do that. What? Come inside somebody? I would if I came inside someone, I would tell them. I wouldn't no. be like, I gotta go. No, <laughs> Don't like call when you me. announce Don't call when me. You, you tell other people, like when you tell other people, like I got someone pregnant, and they say, like, did you pull out? And, and you you say yes, but you didn't. That's Joe, the, oh. tell other at, at, after Joe comes, he just disappears in like a puff of smoke, like the road. I drop one of those like grenades and it vanishes like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> you said that, like, you know how guys, you know, you'll come inside and you won't admit it. And it's like, no, yeah. who would do that? That's <laughs> psychotic, you. man. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> they like it. <laughs> <laughs> they like it when you bust inside and lie about it. Dude, it makes them feel they feel good about themselves because like look how much this man loves me. He's willing to risk everything. Like <laughs> women hate it when you don't come, honestly. That's what they feel. They, they really do. do hate that. Let me tell they, you. Yeah, they feel ugly if you don't come. They're like, God, I must be like a fucking ugly pig if this handsome, wonderful man can't maintain an erection and, and ejaculate. They they don't know about like how much. Well, hold on, hold on. on. Who I mean, who here can actually maintain an erection? me it depends uh don't yeah don't look at me <laughs> <laughs> damn no i go i go soft pretty easily oh uh, why really? yeah um Have you tried thinking about a man yeah oh of course i've even tried having sex with a man i still can't stay hard <laughs> damn it i thought this was my problem i thought i <laughs> well i'm i'm sorry ramon see your way out <laughs> yeah the thrill is gone. Oh, man. The thrill is gone away. You think you could get a blue chew? You think blue chew would sponsor our podcast? Oh, if they I think I'm had... just, I think I just don't want to ever have sex again. Are you sure? I just want to devote my time to, I want to become a man of letters, you know, just devote my time to reading and writing, studying, you know, writers fuck though, Dalton. Yeah, dude. Not Salinger. Hemingway fucked. Yeah, yeah dude. dog. Hemingway, Hemingway yeah. was like the case ultimate. in point. Yeah. Have you and, ever read one of those shitty books? And let's be real. Let's be real, Dalton. The only letters you're about are PS4. <laughs> <laughs> that, there's a number in there, dude. I know. All right. Look, the math doesn't <laughs> quite work out, but you know, it's all about Kate. I'm like, I'm like a, I'm like a Bill Maher style comic where it's all about cadence. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like Don Rickles. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don Rickles. I just say nonsense. I'm like, right, you piece of shit. And then you're like, damn, he got me good. He uh, called me a truck or some shit. Hockey Dal- fuck. Dalton, I can't believe that you don't like. Are you like already done with sex? I thought you just had sex. Yeah, dude. You know, it's like um, <laughs> you get it out of the way, and then you just go back to you know gaming and staring at the ceiling, not sleeping, <laughs> you know, shaking, twitching, <laughs> fidgeting. Uh, wondering if that pain in your chest is something to worry about yeah <laughs> okay yeah, yeah yeah it does seem like a busy schedule you're right <laughs> you know i all that 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 horniness was really getting in the way of my worrying about my health <laughs> well, why don't you yeah. fucking change your diet or something man come on man no, I'm just anxious right now. I've been really, you know, the quarantine. Yeah, quarantine's got me yeah. anxious, and I just, you know, four walls, same four walls surrounding me all day, every day, oh, no. alone with my thoughts. Are you in a, a basement? Loft. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually in a loft right now. This is my oh. my office in my uh, apartment. Walls oh damn! Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I'll be, it, you, it looks it looks like somewhat spacious, dude. It is. Yeah, there's not. like a it, it's there's not, like a whole... it's not. Well, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's not, not it's spacious enough for <laughs> three guys. It, it, if you're by yourself in here, it's it's kind of nice. There's a whole bed back there. There's yeah, a... that you will not yeah. be fucking a woman or a man in. Not in that one. And probably not in the one in my bedroom either. Right. I'm saving himself. When I I'm saving myself for when I'm at a girl's apartment and her room is clean. So my room gives you not... verbal consent this time. Uh, def- define verbal. Well, let's say like and also it's define okay. consent. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay that you have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> Webster's Dictionary defines consent as bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I just looked up the definition of consent. It's a bunch of feminist uh, hoo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Look up see gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, hey, so that. <laughs> so we just signed a deal with Daily Wire, and uh, we'll <laughs> we'll be on Ben Shapiro's network. I have been cool. I've been watching so many Dave Rubin clips lately. That guy Dude, is the dumbest guy of all time. Yeah. I mean, he's just so stupid. His whole thing was like, "Look, I'm a liberal and I'm gay, but I just don't think we should ever have any immigration." Like he's just like. He pretended he was a liberal so long that he became more conservative than like anybody to yeah. the point where he was like, the election was stolen and like, all, like ne- like total MAGA. And it's like, I wonder, and there's a lot of guys like that, like these like online right wing grifter guys, basically. Mm. And I kind of wonder where they're going to, not to keep talking about politics, but I kind of wonder where, what they're going to do now. You know what I mean? Like the grift, yeah. is the grift over? No, it's never. You, you would be amazed. Oh, I hate to break character and disrespect the president, but to have a real conversation about this, you would be amazed, I think, at how quickly people like how the cognitive dissonance that people are able mm-hmm. to just like settle into of just like, all right, move on to the next thing. Forget that I ever believed that. Right, right, like, right, right. Dude, like, yeah, I, I just found, I, yeah, the grift really is never over because I, I just found out that like all those guys like from the big short people are still doing that. Like the shorting. They're doing it right now. I know oh, that's yeah. that that's that whole GameStop story is like the the Wall Street Bet subreddit found out that like some hedge fund was shorting GameStop, like betting on it to fail. And so they all got together and so let's just start buying GameStop stock to jack up the price. And they just like fucked over all these uh Wall Street guys, which yeah. is pretty cool. But that I didn't really I didn't realize that's that was awesome. still like a Good. thing that people did was like shorting. Like this seems illegal. It's at least unethical. I thought the big short was about I thought I thought the big short was about Joe. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> people can't tell. People don't know how tall I am anymore, dude. Are you short? No, I'm fucking dude. I'm the tallest of the loud boys, and that's why it's like this hilarious little, little like uh fucking bit, dude. I'm like the tallest, most muscular loud boy. And, right. and, and, <laughs> like sorry, no one yeah. can tell. I, I feel soon. bad. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you remember uh beetlejuice from howard stern of course <laughs> yeah he towers over joe <laughs> <laughs> yeah joe's more of a whack packer than a host <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck dude yeah uh, we have fun here dude <laughs> robin robin bring in gary the small retard <laughs> <laughs> Robin, uh, bring in the, the retarded gay guy. So you're gay and retarded, right? <laughs> <laughs> Old Howard was the greatest. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Did you? Yeah, I showed Nick. We, I showed him. What was it? The fucking uh, the competition for who had the smallest penis. Oh, dude, <laughs> the small. There's a. I think there's a couple of those because I feel like I watched two. It's and like forty minutes long. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. It's- it's so fucking funny. It's so fucking fun. And the fact that they're like winning, like the prize is like they get to go hang out on a cruise ship full of porn stars. <laughs> like just the, the, there will never be radio that good again. Ever. Howard brought in like 50 of his fans who all competed to see who have like the smallest penis and they all showed their penis on the air. And they're, so they're just all in a line nude with these insanely small penises. And they have like a gay guy judge. And then Robin's judging with the gay guys. Like you need help, honey. Or like, he's not that bad, you know? And yeah. uh, then oh, it was like so, down to like so the, embarrassing. I know, but the guys who made it to the top three and then the guy who won were so excited. They won. It was like yes, clearly dude. like one of the greatest moments of their lives. So just like literally having to like burrow f- 
through like flaps of skin to find their cock. Yeah, like, and just... it's all uncensored, so you can see it. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> just imagining someone digging through a pussy and pulling out a small penis. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what would be funny is if we tried that. Like we we held like a casting call, like reached out and said, "Hey, if you have, if you think you have a small penis, join our small penis contest." But we did it with them, and it turns out we we just have the smallest <laughs> have penis. penis. <laughs> it's a scam. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even know going in. Like we we're all like, "Oh, we're we're gonna yeah. smoke these guys." We're, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, we have the smallest penises. <laughs> the game was rigged all along. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a Twilight Zone episode. Uh, our cocks were supposed to be big now. <laughs> Damn. Um, Nick, do well, you have a small penis? <laughs> it's okay. Now, dude. Nick, we hear you have a small penis. Is that true? I, I can't tell. I think I really? do. I, I, is I, I say I, I'm pretty sure that I have a small cock, uh, like to the point where like I like will like put myself down and almost like warn girls like I have kind of a small cock. And then they're like and maybe that's only because like I build up like such low expectations. They're like your cock is fine. But I look at it in the mirror and I just absolutely hate it. Yeah. I, think it I do terrible. the same. I do the exact same thing. Yeah. I was like, you're going to hate this. You're going to hate <laughs> this <laughs> penis. <laughs> And then like, I think like, I think they overdo it back. Like, oh my god, it's so big. It's like, like settle down. All right, <laughs> now yeah. this is an over. This is an overcorrection. <laughs> we have I hate it. Even <laughs> she has your dick and balls in her mouth, and she says like f- phonetically, "Oh my god, it's so big." <laughs> she's still <laughs> able to speak. <laughs> she says it, and I'm like, "My cock or my balls?" And she's like, uh, "I plead the fifth." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Now, I'm pretty sure I say that it's small. I can't tell. But you know what's crazy? Like, on a good, like, it all depends on my mental health. Because, like, mm. when I'm super depressed, I swear to God, I have, like, uh, like cock anorexia or something or, like, or like cock bulimia. Because oh, like so hungry for cock and then throwing up after. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Dalton does when he thinks he's gay that day. <laughs> I, su- I suck off a dude and then run to the bathroom to throw up. If you throw up, it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah, if, you, <laughs> if you blow yeah. a guy and, and then throw the up, gay. it's not gay. <laughs> There's no gay, yeah. yeah. That's what the purge is really. The new, the next purge episode yeah. is like purging their gay thoughts after <laughs> the sex. purge colon being gay <laughs> yeah. you, go to, you go to the you go to the doctor and your teeth are rotting from all the bile and you have ulcer <laughs> your ribs poking through and he's like do you have an eating disorder and you go hey i'm not gay <laughs> <laughs> for the last time i'm not gay <laughs> yeah i'm not gay dude <laughs> um but uh, yeah I, I don't know i i literally don't know if my cock is bigger or small because i also like refuse to measure pull it out dude oh enough dude this, i'll, I'll never measure on mine. dude we'll figure it out right now let's all let's all adjust the webcams it's let's like just do it. i know like it's like it's big enough to hit the back of the pussy so oh, i'm yeah, like that's, all that that's pretty big dude that's that's big, big dude I can't unless you're pay. unless you're fucking some small pussies, right, which dude. yeah, oh Nick, yeah, you, well Nick, Nick is a pedophile. Just yeah. stop, me. <laughs> dude, stop me, Nick. A, a pedophile that brags he hit the back every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I can't, Joe, I can't figure it out to scale, dude. Like, is that? Come on, dude, just tell me when to stop. It's like, you should have stopped a while ago. Oh, no. I to scale, I can't figure it out. I, I might be. I have no idea, man. Come on, dude. Hey, I, feel about, like, I feel like about, I could get it across your mustache. How about, how about this? <laughs> dude, this is like not bad. You think you could do that move where you uh, where you like uh, press it against the woman's neck and almost like choke, choke her, with her? it? Absolutely not. Absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, I mean, I want to do that, but my dick is too small for that. I can, I can smack a woman in the face with it, but I can't choke her with it. Why don't you pay yeah. someone to do it, Dalton? Pay someone to choke a, a woman. So I'm just watching another guy do it. Yeah, dude. Why not? Yeah. Oh, all right. I yeah, guess. That's fun. I can, Wait, I guess I can, I think, of, do- I can think of much better uses of Dalton's money. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, how many more well, microphones do you want this guy to buy? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all you have, Dalton, all you have to do is you just have to like, you just have to tag in with that guy. Like anything you can't take care of, you just tag in. He chokes you with his cock. You tag back in. Keep fucking her. <laughs> Yeah, dude. It's a beautiful. That's 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 beautiful teamwork. 
Yeah, it just ends with me not even in the bed. Like I'm playing PlayStation somewhere else. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, hey, distracted man. with PlayStation. Yeah. Dom, Dom tags in and hits her with a chair like wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I got confused. I forgot which game we were doing. <laughs> The other guy isn't even upset. He's just like, "All right, man, it's your money." What, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I pay dudes to come over and fuck my wife while I play Red Dead. Yeah, that's what. Oh yeah, yeah man. That's I don't even move. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> that's the way to do it, man. <laughs> What's going on with gaming right now? Any any new? What, what should I be looking out for? Damn, what oh, is Hitman out? Three, dude? Oh, yeah, I heard good things about Hitman 3. Hitman 3, if you've got it, you know what's crazy? You can even, like, play it on the fucking Switch because, like, they have, like, a, you play it, like, on the cloud. And it's, like, not oh, that, no. it's not, it's not too bad. It looks all right. But, like, dude, it is fucking cool. It's a cool, yeah. it's just one of those games where you're like, damn. Like, if you think you can do it, you can probably do it. Yeah, I heard, it's, like, it's cool where, it, like, the only rule is, like, on this, lap, you got to kill this guy. And like they leave it completely open how you want to kill them. Like there's uh, so you can poison them, you can like set traps, you can just go up and shoot them. You can kill like them with kindness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can give them a COVID 19 vaccination. Like, <laughs> 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 I heard that you actually you can you can kill the United States of America and you vote for Joe Biden, and that's the method. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 You, you, that's uh, when you kill freedom. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate assassination. The game. The yeah. game ends with Hitman dropping off his ballot at a <laughs> at one of those boxes. Then, like, dropping off. Time. Dropping off a bunch of illegal ballots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The end of Hitman. He. Everyone he kills votes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn, we gotta dude. talk about. Have, did y'all see the big bitch from uh, Resident, Resident Evil? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm in love. I hope there's some DLC where you can see her feet. I'm a centrist on <laughs> her. I, I'm a, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her. I'm in love with her. Yeah, I had her? a visceral, yeah, horny reaction when I first saw her. I was. I want her to step on me, yeah. smother me, yeah. kill me. <laughs> Yeah. suffocate me yeah <laughs> so nothing so nowhere near your dick I i'll be I honest speak, no. I, think I, I want first. i just want her to kill me dude this is right. this is uh nick i'll tell you the official stance of the loud boys is baby want milk right? <laughs> yeah baby. I, I, I know look, robbie's a big robbie's a big boob guy i am look. <laughs> Yeah, Robbie really has am. big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie's got big old titties. Yeah, I'm a narcissist. I love I love just seeing myself on screen. <laughs> I, I love seeing <laughs> big titties. Yeah, you saw you saw the big bitch, and you said I I feel represented. I see I, myself. this finally <laughs> yeah. some representation. A big titty tall bitch. Yeah, Somebody an eight, an eight foot big titty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's me up there. <laughs> Somebody um, in our Discord was making me laugh. He was like, how pissed are they going to be when we find out it's a small house? <laughs> yeah, like, like she's not even that tall. Yeah, she's <laughs> it's like an optical <laughs> illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Your character just has vertigo. <laughs> I, I just got that. That's so funny. Right. No, dude, uh, I'm in love with her. Those Resident name. Evil games are cool. Yeah, they're fucking, they're really But they're good. too scary. Almost as scary as Luigi's Mansion, but I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I would um, yeah. They're, uh, they're, um, I was like watching video of it and I like how I like, there, I wish there was more games like that. That was just like a, like a cool, like crafted experience kind of like campaign. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're really good at it. I, um, I was going to, I was going to ridicule you for being a boob man. Never mind. We'll talk, we'll talk about the game. Oh, no, no, wait. Let's get back to the big bitch. I, I want to <laughs> say it's, it was interesting how horny the internet got for her because look, and I'm a, notoriously horny guy and maybe it's just a matter of me being horny for everyone i see but i would have that would have just like gone by and i wouldn't have even thought about it but every it felt like it was a huge thing everyone's like dude i i got you is, is it because she's her. is it because she's tall i think so i think she gives off like a phoenix marie vibe she just know? gives off a mommy vibe dude <laughs> Yeah, big ass mommy. Phoenix I want her to Marie. carry me around in a baby. Nick, you, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Nick. Phoenix Marie. <laughs> I haven't thought about Phoenix Marie since I was in high school. Really? I, I I'm always looking for a new work. She's got I'm, fucked up teeth. She got fucked. Yeah, she's got fucked up teeth and giant bolt-on titties and probably a fake ass. But she she's nasty, dude. 
That's she, what it's all about, nice. dude. That's all that matters. How about yeah. Joaquin Phoenix Murray? I, oh, she has a hair loop too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dancing on the stairs in the Bronx while fucking a dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, jo- the Joker getting fucked in his juicy ass. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You wouldn't fuck it. <laughs> you're laughing. I'm fucking you in the ass, and you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing. You fuck two guys at once, and you're laughing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in love. I'm in love with the big bitch. Her name is Lady Dimitrescu. I looked Damn, it up. Nailed the pronunciation. On <laughs> yeah, that. dude. Oh, dude, I've been I've been all in on big bitch ever since the first photos dropped. I'm I'm in love with big bitch. <laughs> I just I, I guess I just don't. I mean, I don't. Something about her feels you don't like a what. Well, something about it feels off. Did you see the like somebody like zoomed in on like like the like the crazy amount of detail like texture detail on her like tit flesh? Mm. It's like oh. like imagine but, being the de- the designer assigned to that job. Like yes, yes. <laughs> oh, dude, just a horny <laughs> Japanese businessman. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, oh. I honor my ancestor with a really big boob. <laughs> Will you make you look so realistic? <laughs> yeah, just crunching. <laughs> oh, we like <laughs> don't worry. We were on the game by making it very big and very kind of hairy in a weird way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I think she taps into like the zeitgeist of the internet right now. Because what does the internet love? Powerful, strong women, right. and for some reason, uh, traditional values, otherwise known as trad. And she she's very trad in appearance. You know, wearing right. that elegant dress and that sun hat but she's also just a big bitch you know right and that's what the that's what the internet loves right now is big bitches wearing gowns okay? right right she's that's like a really re- true she'd be a great yeah. red scare guest yeah, yeah. <laughs> well it's like dude it's i feel like just like the i feel like a lot of fetishes have just like come to the forefront on twitter especially like there's so much shit that's just like in like the mainstream conversation that i think was was really fringe even like five years ago dude i'm turning into like a christian conservative because of that shit because i somebody like some sex worker pro, pro, hooker whore posted something <laughs> the other day i always sex workers I like sound so correcting fucking stupid. yourself <laughs> correcting yourself the other way is yeah. awesome yeah. I, uh, I hate I, dude I, I hate saying i sex ran workers. into an asian american i'm sorry chinaman uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's awesome to watch somebody deprogram in real time yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i got i just yeah. red pilled in front of you <laughs> yeah 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 but i'll feel like i i'm sorry guys i'm i'm so backwards uh i ran into a, a, a neuroatypical i'm sorry retarded guy and <laughs> yeah but it was this it was this like dom prostitute lady or whatever and she was talking about how you shouldn't kink shame uh edge play and blood play or something like that. Like as the army hammer working. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I guess it was based on that, but I knew what blood play was. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I thought edge play was just edging. Couldn't be further from the truth. What's edge play? Edge play is. I thought you- it was blood play and crit play. <laughs> well, no, she doesn't fuck black guys. I mean, she's not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not. It's sex worker, not sex welfare. All right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it turns out edge play is a sexual act wherein you push the partner to their psychological edge. So it's just what? Like a- yeah, what dude. It's like the fucking. <laughs> Cinnabites so, from Hellraiser. So that's what I've been so, doing. So you just have them like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that. I have a term for me I'm now. A, I'm, I'm actually a hero. I didn't yeah. Know. Look, okay. I love to play the edge, you too, when having sex. But this right. sounds ridiculous. Yeah, when, when a woman is kicking and screaming as Joe drags her down, he says, don't kink shame me. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bill Cosby, Your Honor, I'm being kink shamed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I mean. Like, how much of this woke shit? Like, I feel it feels like we're on the cusp of it. It's just gonna like loop back around to like people getting serious, like people like seriously hurting each other all over again. But this time, like on purpose. 
I mean, that's what happened with the sexual revolution, right? Like it was yeah. like it it was like in the seventies, like a lot of people were fucking underage girls and like like questionable rape stuff because they're like, it's the fucking look, everything's on limits now, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Love, so, go take it. Yeah, exactly. So the seventies, like right up until the second wave feminism, like in between the sexual revolution and second wave feminism, it was like the wild west for sex. That's that's why like every seventies rock star is a pet like is on the record having fucked some sixteen year old girl or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. saying they have pedo yeah I've said it on before on the show they have pedophile herd immunity you can't get all of them you know right, I think exactly. even <laughs> yeah. But it's, did have you seen what a sixteen year old looked like in the seventies? Haggard, okay, <laughs> grizzled dude. The the sixteen year old girls in the they 70s, all look like Jane Lynch. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> If you ask me, Jimmy Page was taking one for the team. Fucking that <laughs> monstrosity. Yeah, dude, it's it's so funny to me how many of these like titans of like seventies rock, like you see pictures of them with their girlfriends at the time, and it's like, dude, you fucking you blew it. Like, you yeah, could have had anybody. Right, right, right. They're yeah, out with a girl wearing like a poncho with Harry Pitts. Right. But, <laughs> yeah, oh, I like that, dude. I've been getting into this uh, porn series called Girls Out West. You guys heard of this? Uh. No, no, no it just sounds like uh, all right. What gross thing makes you come now, Dalton? <laughs> yeah, this is the weekly segment. What, dude, what did yeah. Dalton get into this? Week? Here, here I love it. I love that Dalton's like, you, I, he's like, I would, I'll never touch a living woman. It's disgusting. Meanwhile, <laughs> like, what the fuck is girls out west, dude? So, girls out west, hairy amateur Australians. <sighs> Pretty great, man. Is it great? Um, yeah, dude. It's all natural, big bitches. Just, well, you know, they punk. do blood play too, but they go, that's not a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get, I don't get the hair thing. Um, I don't like I don't, hairy it's girls. It's like a natural either. thing. It's a natural. Yeah, I don't know, dude. If you could, if you could like, cause I've like, I've got a lot of friends who like, like hairy, hairy women. And I just, I'm like, just like explain to me. I guess I couldn't explain why I like. I think, just, I, like. I think for me, uh, maybe this. Maybe I just have some trauma I never worked through because I do kind of like it. I think it's just because it's gross. I think it's like, damn, bitch, you nasty. <laughs> you're probably you're probably half get, you're probably half getting off to the fact that it's perverted. Like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. that's probably like half of it. And yeah. like maybe in a way you feel like you you deep down don't deserve to be with a beautiful woman. So by fetishizing like these disgusting traits, when you actually encounter this kind of woman in real life you won't feel racked with guilt when that's like the only person that will have sex with you. That's yeah. True. It's I also did, like I, you're, you're getting into porn and I've, I've gone through this too, where it's so far removed from like real sex that it becomes <laughs> fantasy. Hey, you know what just, I, hey, just hairy women. Is like, <laughs> that's what a fucking bizarre. I, I was talking more about the trans. I was talking more about the trans stuff. Dalton. Oh, you're telling oh. me people don't have sex with trans women. Dude, All right, I, Robbie. Dude, so Dalton, Dalton is just like Brendan. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brendan's coming on next week and boy, it's going to be went... funny to see Dalton and Brendan go back and forth. I have a healthy sexual curiosity, okay? No, for, yeah. yeah, for sure. Harry amateur Australians is just what I happen to be curious about right now. I got served a video the other day that was a a woman, it was just, it was a solo video and she was like she was like gaping her pussy, like opening it like with both yep. of her hands I'm listening. and then she was like she was like pushing her womb all the way Ew. to the front. Of her. That's so, like, disgusting. Yeah. It's, uh, it, like Ugh. it wasn't even like I watched the whole thing, not out of sexual curiosity, just because it was like genuinely mesmerizing. It was like watching a magic trick. I would, and, and it was like some. I want to know. Like, Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> I just made my uterus disappear. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember, like I remember when I was like, I must have been like seventeen. There was this video that I saw of like a girl whose like anus was like so prolapsed that she could like oh. she could like trumpet it out. She could, she would like it like it looked like an elephant. Ew! Yeah, 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 no, she had total control over it, dude. Ew! So I'm just getting like this turned on. This episode is gross. <laughs> this yeah, episode is so gross. Can you send me the link? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, she had wait. control of it. Was it like a tail? Did she, was yes. she like a Saiyan? It was like prehensile. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's like um, what do you what do you call those fucking party favors where you blow them out like uh? Oh, oh the, the teaser. Ping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was she was fucking controlling it like it's that. like those uh, sea cucumbers when they get scared they vomit up all of their guts. <laughs> yes, that's what, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually how the Joker's dick comes too. Like a little teaser thing. 
I mean, honestly, that's a, it's, it's like, it's a, it's a useful skill. Like if, no, like, like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it totally is. Dude, because like, no, like imagine like a dude puts it back there and he doesn't have permission. You just shoot it right back out. You just, you just fucking like kazoo his dick and right you out of your ass. just traumatize that man for life. <laughs> yeah. He just, he sees your rectum push out of your asshole. He's like, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> what, what monster is he? Your also, also also funny to call that a skill like do you like stand stand up and that fall under the same category yeah I, I, I <laughs> well, she, you know what dude she's she's better at doing that than most people are at stand up that's yeah. true i, I would yeah. say yeah. if you could prolapse in. your own anus on command you have more talent than most comedians you've yeah, contributed dude. more to uh life than most comedians <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's such a it's like to be able to turn your asshole into the thing like anytime you want it's like that's like <laughs> it, it, seriously yeah because like we don't have defense mechanisms yeah. right like i can't go into a turtle shell i don't have fucking like uh, porcupine spines on my back but if i could like project my asshole to scare a predator i'd be pretty proud of myself <laughs> ass first predator <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean uh those videos uh uh disturb me <laughs> yeah no it's a bummer those are horrifying <laughs> it's a bu- it, don't get me wrong it's not this stuff doesn't turn me on but it's like i see it and i'm just like wow I don't know if I'm inspired or what, but I'm, I think I'm impressed. I think that's the main mm. thing is I'm, I'm impressed with these people. Well, these are strong women. These are, that's right. <laughs> these are strong women with, with, with skills. Yeah. These are working women with skills. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It says here on your resume that you're proficient in prolapse. <laughs> oh oh i've seen your work i've seen your work it turns into the thing love that <laughs> hell of a picture hell of a picture <laughs> it, it's a great picture imagine ace ventura, <laughs> ace ventura talking with his ass but it prolapses <laughs> somebody stop it i can't <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's it's the way it's like how he gets out of like a sticky situation like his hands and feet are tied he's like don't worry and he uses his prehensile asshole to untie the ropes <laughs> yeah. it's a good movie a guy tries to fuck him and he and he spits it out do not go in there <laughs> <laughs> the mask <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the ass. <laughs> instead of the. Uh, mask. I thought you were saying like the like on Grinder how guys say mask, mask. for masculine. Mm. It's like um, yeah. If the I haven't been on, I've never been on Grinder, so I wouldn't know. Oh wow! <laughs> you see, Gr- Grinder banned Trump too. <laughs> oh really? <Yeah. laughs> That's awesome. This is an. He tries to sneak in through Grinder. There's still. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to find out if there's horny men in my area? I'm not gonna have sex with them, but I'd like to know. Were they trying yeah. to do that as like a as like an own like uh, I'm so. sure I'm sure the yeah, same the course. same way people call Lindsey Graham what do they call him Lady G or what like yeah Ma- yeah that's pretty funny though to ban him from Grinder it I, is I, funny I, that's a that's, that's one a of the few great, good lib- yeah that's a that's good such liberal a own funny move I'll I guess I guess I guess since gay guys are doing it it's funny yeah it always just like funny. it always bugs me when like when like uh, otherwise like woke libs are like uh, are trying to like out like closeted Republicans or whatever it's like what are, what are you yeah. fucking doing like. Well, that's the I mean, against just because of the hypocrisy where like every liberal right. tell you get gay jokes are off limits unless it's like Trump fucking Putin or something. Then it's yeah. like very funny. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. It would be funny if Donald Trump tried to sign up for Grinder because he thought it was a skateboarding app. It turns, <laughs> turns out he's really into skateboarding. I love Tony Hawk yeah. Pro Skater. Big fan of ska. It's great. Goldfinger. <laughs> Great band. Here I am getting older all the time, getting younger all the time. There's something in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> but who can really say what's in my mind? Nobody can really. Sometimes yeah. I don't even know. That's what he's been doing since he left office. He's just been playing Tony Hawk's pro skating. <laughs> that would be great. Dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, I mean, yeah, him and Baron probably just fucking skating up a storm together. Dude, I mean, oh, that I soundtrack is worth tight. it. Yeah. Um, Fuck! I had something Damn, I, oh. I thought I could fucking skateboard playing those Tony Hawk fucking video games, and like it did not transfer over. 
Oh, no, yeah. it doesn't. No. Like, the crazy, physics but like insane. every dude, everyone was like, "All right, I got this shit now." I when I was a kid, I definitely thought shit like that too. Like, I can drive, yeah. I can play oh, Mario Kart. I, I remember it's the same when, fucking thing. Look yeah. how good I am at GTA, man. Of course, I can fucking parallel park and shit. Dude, <laughs> of course, I can steal a car. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was my whole fucking thing when I started driving after playing GTA for years. I was like, "What do you mean the car always goes?" Like, what do you mean the car is always going? Like, I thought the I thought if you didn't hit the gas, the car like stood still. Yeah. Right. It's right. Weird, right. Yeah, you have to like. <laughs> <laughs> you have to understand <laughs> physics and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hate uh, speak, that. Speaking uh, of hit. hit no, man. I was just gonna say I I remember the first the year that uh the fir- Guitar Hero was first announced. I remember actually thinking like, oh, this is a good way to learn guitar. This will be like a good way to like get you know started what? on the instrument. <laughs> I was actually learning guitar at the same time as like getting into guitar heroes like around the same time high school or whatever and i think i i stopped playing guitar to play guitar hero because i was like i'm getting the same satisfaction out of this like i'm getting the same exact <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. like in fact people God seem damn, more dude. impressed people are more willing to watch me play guitar hero than watch me play real guitar that is true <laughs> you've never read you've never read a single interview with like a dude in a band where it's like how'd you get interested in music guitar hero it's fun and like <laughs> you know what i yeah. mean I, I think I do. I will say I think that that got people into a lot of music though, because like the yes. downloadable songs. I remember people yeah. getting into like. I like, learned a lot of music, yeah, through Guitar Hero. Yeah, like I remember like kids in high school getting into like the Dead Kennedys, like the kids who never would have got into it. I was like, that's kind of fucking cool. What about Stand yeah. Up Hero? And you have to like do Bill Hicks bits, like you have to, like, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like fucking early. Fu- <laughs> yeah, and then it's like a thing. It's like, can you do like the Eddie Murphy early Eddie Murphy raw? Yeah, like, the, the, yeah. The difficulty uh, is based on how many slurs are used. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the most, the most, the, the, like, like the final stage is Kramer said at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, fuck! I can't get Sam Kinison scream. The, that ninth scream is so hard to get. <laughs> you got to plant. You got to time it just right. Yeah. Damn. I just it, it be Sam. open mic hero and you just never stop doing bars. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like you know how you like graduated in guitar yeah. hero. Man, yeah, dude, stand up, man, is stand up coming back? Do you think? No, it's no. over. I do think it's done forever. When do you guys I, think we're gonna get the vaccine? And after that, never. how long? Never? I don't okay. trust. I don't trust the vaccine. Right well, now. they're trying to buy two hundred. You don't trust the vaccine. I like, dude. I fucking. I love Dalton. <laughs> 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 they're, they're trying to get two hundred. <laughs> Biden's trying to buy two hundred million more doses, but they're gonna. They'll wind up fucking destroying a third of those or something. Ah, that sucks. Because they're, like already, it my, what, a, what a huge problem. Of, this is the problem with government programs. Is just like, <laughs> like it's it, it, it's uh. Just like bureaucracy can fuck with stuff, especially if you're like, especially when you're dealing with, I don't know. I actually really don't know what the answer is. I'm trying to be, a, I'm a little bit of a know-it-all, but it's like, it feels like people on the federal level are fucking up and people on the state level are fucking up. So I, I don't know. Robbie, really know. I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is. We threw out our last lethal lawful, pre- legal lawful president. From his lawful <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah, from his, he, we in the middle, we ripped him from his legal lawful bed that he was resting in and threw him from his legal lawful home. It's not right. It's, it's true. It's true. It's very I, true. You know, I would this like is, to say I'm a fan of lawful presidents. I know it's controversial. It's hard. I mean, look, in this day and yeah. age, people h- hate to hear you say that. Why well, elected? I got to tell you, I did just I, uh, watch a documentary uh, called uh, Planet Lockdown and uh, highly recommend, dude. It's it's all about how this is a conspiracy by uh, the global elites Hell to yeah. uh, establish a new form of currency and separate themselves from those who don't possess wealth so that we can be used as more of a livestock than a labor force. Mm. Dalton, what do you know about the Great Reset or and the line? Have you been following the Great Reset and the line? <laughs> I, uh, I, by the way, I... <laughs> I do enjoy conspiracies. I don't buy any of this shit, really. Oh, but, come on. Uh, I mean, great reset, I don't know. Dude. There's definitely some stuff that I think about that seems fishy, but I try not to, like, take a hard stance because I don't want to come off as too crazy. Oh, but got, I, I've heard what? 
the great Risa stuff right now. The great Risa is like a Jewish conspiracy, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Holy fuck. No. <laughs> no, it's 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 literally the World Economic Forum. The reason why like the Great Reset and the Line are creepy is because like they're both like they have verified accounts on Twitter. Like yeah, one's they, from like the like, royal family. Right. Yeah. yeah. Isn't like the, the line is like that? The line is like that country that's just a straight line or something. Uh oh, is that what the is that like their proof of concept or whatever? Because it, 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 it's all about like restructuring modern cities throughout the world so that like you never need to travel more than 15 minutes for anything that you need. Ooh, which to creepy. me is, yeah, it's creepy. Creepy. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and like de emphasizing like uh, the focus on like personal vehicle ownership and all that stuff. And you know, like here's the thing in terms of like, like public transportation should be better and they should be like more access for people who can't afford cars. But I don't know. It, some of these pushes seem kind of weird to me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I think conspiracy theories are fun to, but I mean, look, if they're going to do it, now's the time. Cause everyone is just like, dude, this two masks thing. It's like one of the, one of the fucking lines. Uh, that, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Crazy. dude. Get shit out like out that, shit like that is where I go. Okay. Something's going on. Yeah. That, like something's going that's on. That's like that's literally being like this is like wearing two pairs of underwear will decrease your chance. So of yeah, raised. either you lied to us about how wearing a mask is so effective, or like you're just trying to like I, I don't know, like it does feel like they're just trying to like take more than like or oh wow okay so everyone agrees that we have masks. Well, what can we? Well, like, dude, that's that's what, why what I What more don't, can we get them to do? You know, that's why like, I don't necessarily trust this vaccine because everything in this last year has been like bungled to it like no one's handled this correctly and it's like you're telling me that they what normally takes years to develop they like hashed out in less than a year it, it is also weird that like some people have like died directly like due to side effects of the vaccine and granted yeah. like they're they're older people but it's yeah but that's still but that but that's been the argument the entire time for staying inside is that we don't want to kill older people with this virus. And now it's like the fucking vaccine is killing. They, they took Hank Aaron, Larry King. It's probably oh, going to take the Betty vaccine? White. They no, did. no, no. The Larry King them. Larry King died from COVID. He got COVID. Yeah. No, dude. He was, it was the vaccine, but Larry, the only person who could have reported on it was Larry King. So nobody, nobody actually knows that. It sucks, dude. Tonight at eight, I'm dead. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Call her. How did I die? Was it a conspiracy? I'm, I'm sitting here with Jesus Christ. We're in heaven. I'm sitting here with the devil. Why did I go to hell? <laughs> Didn't appreciate the sanctity of marriage. Uh, <laughs> too many, too many so Larry you, Queens. So can yes. you tell me, Mr. Satan, uh, why did I go to hell? Well, Larry, it's because you're Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying it's not the eight wives. It's because I'm Jewish. That's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, when we come back, they're going to be putting a hot poker in my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I come back. Larry King in hell. <laughs> yeah, all right. Larry King hell. All right, call it number four. Oh, it's Hitler. What's what's on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, we're like this all the time, man. Yeah. People, people keep saying six million. It's too much. <laughs> it does oh, sound like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, i'm not gonna lie it sounds like a lot uh, well we have caller number eight on the line it's uh kobe bryant How, what are you doing here? <laughs> well well larry it's because i raped that woman yeah larry as hey. you know larry as you know is a great bit basketball star and a champion of many mm, why'd you rape that girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i completely forgot about that he he raped a woman yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, Bummer. using the using the Joe Gorman method. Come on, Robert. His wasn't the whole case. He didn't that he do it by being really, really nice. I only like, imagine there's a there's a Joe Gorman rape conservatory. <laughs> yeah. It's like the X, Joe. It's like the X Men. Uh, <laughs> uh, fucking oh, Joe <laughs> Gorman, <laughs> Professor Sex. Joe, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Joe was like, here uh, you will all learn to rape. <laughs> the danger room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The Brian danger room. Sing Brian is Singer is apartment. still there. Yeah, Brian Singer still heavily involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. Data, rape him. 
Joe is like the um is like J.K. Simmons and Whiplash, but for rape, he's like, "Are you dragging or rushing?" <laughs> the ending, but it's intense yeah. eye contact as he's fucking his ass. <laughs> They're spit roasting the same woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Lash. Dick Lash, yep. <laughs> Man, that movie fucked me up. I was I was spiraling when I was watching that the other night <laughs> in our group chat. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We're really worried about you, bud. All right, well, sorry I brought it up. How, why why okay. was it, why was it freaking you out? Oh, because I I took band all throughout high school and it just reminded me so much of how our band directors would like scream at us and throw shit. Really? And, yeah, dude. Yeah. It that was like is, my problem with that movie is like the moral is like it's good that he's like that. Yeah, that was well, weird how by the end it was like it it worked. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, it worked and he's and they're friends now. So who you can be emotionally abusive teacher, who cares? I don't know if that's the moral of the movie. I think it's like I think the moral of the movie is if you, some things in life you have to make like you what's the word I want to use? They're, you have to be tough love. It's, no, it's no, it's not that it's tough love. It's Miles Teller made a choice. He was like he he was willing to like forsake like wow, I'm so bad at this. I don't think the movie is necessarily endorsing J.K. Simmons' character. I think it kind of is. By the you end, so? by it, it's it's kind of like this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. But then the, but then at the end, it's like it's good and you liked it. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's. I, I think the moral is to achieve greatness. Sometimes you need to like be pushed beyond what's socially acceptable which is like okay that's a that's a theory i guess right. if, you, I don't if know. you want if you want greatness though exactly I, yeah i think the moral of the movie is don't pursue a career in jazz because it's a fucking dead end yeah it's nobody's like, that guy's dream <laughs> that guy's dream was to play drums at fuck in like winton marsalis's band at lincoln center it's like who the fuck listens to that yeah <laughs> yeah what, what's yeah, he yeah definitely like thousand yeah not like us comedians <laughs> no, I mean we're just as stupid. <laughs> well, but it's it's like if you're gonna play drums, do your own thing. Like, why would your dream be to like have to still answer to this? But I don't fucking think mean guy. I don't think that's the moral of the movie either, because it makes jazz look cool as shit. Jazz is but it, cool, but well, it's, it, it's yeah. Here's dead. the thing: jazz concerts would be a lot cooler if they were like interrupted every ten minutes by like a J.K. Simmons performance. No, yeah, like, yeah, that's why. Right, yeah, see? Yes, there you go. That's why jazz looks cool in that movie. But yeah, you're, right. you're, you're Dalton's right. He should like. It would be a lot smarter if he like honed his skill and then like went on to be like a sessions musician or something. You know, as long as you actually fucking make money. Right, right. Yeah, right. if he, I mean, we didn't see. You know, he was only what like nineteen, twenty. He could have easily started a band or got in the studio with other bands right. but it's such a weird dream to want to be a jazz musician I don't, right I don't yeah know. in 2015 or whatever right yeah but there's kids like that though i knew kids who I, to, like, by the way jazz. i was that kid i took jazz band in high school and i, I <laughs> yeah to. that's why you love calling me daddy oh i call yeah <laughs> you're a, hey robbie you're a cool cat thanks man let's go see a flick later yeah oh, we've man. been talking like kevin smith lately nick I did. I am getting back into music. I just bought a guitar, and I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna see if I still have any chops. What kind of music do you listen? Yeah, you to? got pork chops. All right, well, all right. <laughs> Who, who's the host right now? Kick Robbie out of here. Kick Robbie off his <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Sorry, dude. He struck too true. Yeah. <laughs> but, what, yeah. What, sorry, what, man. What would you? What would you play, Dalton? What instrument? I what instrument? <laughs> I just said I bought a guitar. <laughs> oh, are you re really a guitar? Yeah, I would Adult. say like maybe a banjo or <laughs> bass or a jug. A jug, yeah, yeah. a jug with jug three, three X's on, on the side. <laughs> Dude, there's this there, no, but like, oh, oh, no, come on, come on, stop it, stop it. So, there's that I think you would be really good at. It's called a triangle. And not only can you fucking jam on that and harmonize, you can also let the rest of the family know when it's supper time. Wouldn't that be cool, dude? That's like a That's your job. Joe, Joe, Dalton can do something more complex than that. Have you tried the recorder, Dalton? <laughs> hey, 
The recorder's a tough instrument. To <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, getting defensive about the recorder. Dude, <laughs> no way, it's man. not. You, it's dude. it's technically it's still a woodwind instrument, so yeah. it's, it's hot not easy. Cross bun. Yeah, hot hot cross cross bun. You can do hot cross bun. ABC song. You can do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You can do Ba Ba Black Sheep. It's so <laughs> funny. Everyone learns how to play the recorder, the most irritating <laughs> instrument of all time. I never learned how to play. I just faked the fingering. Well, I never Nick, learned how to I could see, anything. I could see Dalton playing those sticks with the ridges on them. Remember those? <laughs> I said like one of those fucking like wash bin things. Yeah, yeah. A washboard. <laughs> yeah. There was a guy, there was a com by the way, there was a comic in Dallas. His whole thing was he he tried to be like Steve Martin, but instead of a banjo, he would take a washboard on stage and play that. Oh, that's tight. That's fun. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I was uh, gonna I Dalton, what kind of music do you I could see you like I feel like if Dalton released music, he just like he'd like write like a seventy minute like prog rock epic like in his you're, room or something. By the way, you are not far off, dude. You're you're actually pretty spot on. Yeah, that would be yeah. my dream, dude. Is something like uh, like Francis the Mute. Or oh, nice. Del- Delirium Cordia. Yeah, one of those albums. <laughs> Chris, Chris Chris Delirium. <laughs> Robbie, come on, guess I'm talking about. I'm talking about fan, Phantomas, yeah. dude. dude. How did Delia not have a special called Delirious? Delirious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I could release That's a clever comeback, name dude. or white male black comic. I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> well, I think I think Delirious or how, how would you say Delir- the, the the apostrophe. Delirious? Delirious. No, just Delirious, yeah. but with the oh, apostrophe. Okay. It was coming down the pike, and then these fucking women started lying and. <laughs> <laughs> it really <laughs> fucked it up for him. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I think I thought Callan should do Callan by your name. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he just like fucks that. a peach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, then, you know, I guess that'll be more Delia fucking a 17 year old, but. Right. Um, what do you guys yeah, think we- about audiobooks? If, if someone says. I like them. Re- really? Because I always feel like when people. I, I When people only read books that way it's like you're re- you're just retarded it's a good it's like podcasting it's just you like listening to like, podcast yeah, what i like to do is um sometimes if i have like the audio book i will listen to it while i'm actually reading the book i like that yeah that helps really? me a lot yeah, yeah that is you fun. know what i listen to the audio book at 1.5 speed um so that matches the speed that i read at normally because i feel like the audio book sometimes they talk a little slow so I use that and that actually like really helps me. And it also helps me focus on the book a little bit more than uh, if I were just to read it on my own, I wouldn't, I don't get as distracted. And it's kind of reminiscent of being like back in school when you had to like read a book in class alongside other people. And for me, that was like probably when I was like the most engaged with reading. Really? You know? So I think, I think it's good like in tandem with reading yourself. I'll be honest, like I, I'm just more prone to not to like listen to something while I'm doing something yeah. else than like sit down and read because I just have such a shot attention span. See, I, I hear I, I hear that. If like, I try yeah. to listen to a book while I'm like doing something, I'm not even I don't even know what, what the book's about at that point. Like I can't do that. I if I'm gonna read, I have to be reading. It's really? tough, man. I'm I t- I, with TikTok out there. I can't focus on anything. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All those busset challenges that I'm missing. <laughs> Is that the Indian challenge where they rape on a bus? <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> uh, no, it's just it's videos where women are dressed rather homely. Listen, I don't even know what's this. What's the song? Is it called Busset? I don't. Know. I don't know. What are you talking about? It's, I'm not, it's, I'm it's not on woman, TikTok. A woman is dressed rather homely, and she's like kind of dancing to this song. And then when the when the bass drops and it goes bus it, bus it, or whatever the chorus is, she drops down, and now she's dressed in like a a whore outfit, doing this this sexy little dance. Uh, that feels so, like every TikTok. It's is every just TikTok. Like, yeah, yeah, every TikTok just like starting out, and I'm dressed conservatively. I'm a I'm a whore. Yeah. Yeah, it, dude, it, that feels like dude, it's a fucking tragedy to see like 30 like over 30s comedian women do that shit. Like no joke, just like try to look sexy on TikTok. Well, it's dude, it's funny cuz I remember when TikTok like a year or two years ago when TikTok was like nothing but poor people in the Midwest doing this. I remember so, that. Like, you, yeah. You you watched it cuz it was embarrassing and now like it's what you said like 30 year old like comedians are are doing it like thinking that it's cool as shit. It's like no, it's the same embarrassing shit. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, it, it, something it's about a shame. It is I really think it's a shame. It's a shame it's how many pathetic. people are winning it. Like, and look, I'm not tr- like, I think that there are funny people doing funny stuff on TikTok. Like, it can just be a platform just to post your videos or whatever. Yeah. Daniel but Cabral. People were like, people were like leaning into TikTok and just like trying to look hot to grow their comedy <laughs> following. It's like, Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I, it's I came across one the other day that it blew me away how dark it was and that anyone would make this. But it was a, it was a woman and it was like a slideshow of pictures of her. And the first one said, like, starting to feel like a girl again. And then it, the next one was like two months before it happened. And then it, it, next one was a picture of her. And it was like one month before it happened. And then the next one was a picture of her. And it was like the night it happened. And then the next one was a picture of her bed sheets with her, her makeup all over it. And it said the night after it happened. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What is she talking about? And I had to look through the comments. And it was like, oh, she got raped. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> and she this... was like p- making a TikTok about it. <laughs> Damn, oh, dude. dude. Yeah. She she nanetted a TikTok. <laughs> it, it was it was one of the darkest <laughs> the darkest things I've ever seen because it was like I w- like why would you make that? <laughs> That being your impulse, that's really fucking. It's Dude, the people fucking because the goal of TikTok is to grow followers and get attention. So this is so fucking weird. Man. Yeah, it was very. It made me very sad. It was TikTok, like oh it's it's so dystopian that it really makes me feel like comics are not the truth tell. And I now I'm just turning like an old man curmudgeon, but it it's just so. I don't, I never said this about Vine. I don't say this about most social media, but like the fact that so many comedians are just like, just completely trying to like pander to this like Chinese dystopian Uh-oh. algorithm to like, oh, uh, we lost bro. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you froze and then when you came back, all we heard was Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like they're so willing to like assimilate to like this shit dystopian thing that's like making everyone dumber and worse. You know yeah. what I like it's like it's I hate I I mean look whatever maybe I'm just not on it enough but I I feel like it it feels like the end of days app to me. You know Oh it yeah feels dude like, that, wow, that it I does lo- I love hearing Robbie talk like this, dude. I never hear him talk like this. No, n- TikTok makes me feel very depressed and fatalistic. Tick- oh, TikTok God. definitely bums me out because there's something unsettling about it for sure. Like I-, I can't put my finger on what it is that is just truly disturbing about TikTok, but it does feel like like something Robert Heinlein or one of those guys, like Harlan Ellison, would write about as a you know a bleak depiction of what entertainment looks like later on absolutely yeah dude it feels like a black like ooze black mirror but it really does feel like a fucking the first like the gateway to like the yeah. you know this fucking dystopia that black mirror talks about it, it's 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 very chinese even in the sense that like everybody gets a turn being famous on it right like, like, yeah our, our, our buddy our buddy dan referred to it <laughs> you know what their uh their, t- their, their slogan should be we chinese you play joke <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very chinese and that there are no muslims allowed <laughs> well our buddy like unironically our buddy dan referred to it as like the people's social media platform and i was like thank you president g thank you yeah th- thank comrade you. <laughs> comrade yes i mean it is like democratizing like uh the uh, turning people into psychopaths to pursue fame they used to just be for comics but now it's everybody yeah, yeah. well it's also like it's also like it's interesting because it's also made like 15 minutes of viral fame completely worthless as well because like yeah you don't see a lot i guess some people are but it's like if you're on tiktok it's pretty likely that you will go viral at some point and yeah. it's not you can't transfer to anything outside of tiktok some people get like instagram followers and stuff i think daniel actually got a bunch of but these are not high, i don't think these are high quality followers to be completely honest with you right it's so dystopian that it's even called tiktok tiktok it's all your t- fucking time's almost up <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it, that's what I don't the, like uh, the doomsday clock and watchman is yeah to tiktok <laughs> oh dude imagine I, if rorschach saw t- tiktok dude yeah. oh dude <laughs> be no good i'm not dancing in here with you you're <laughs> dancing in here with me <laughs> yeah no if, if rorschach saw tiktok he would he would be on board with ozzy mendias's plan he'd be like yeah, yeah, yeah. get fucking rid of it dude <laughs> yeah get that giant squid pussy thing in yeah. Times square yeah yeah, yeah. You how, know many, how many of these squids can you make because we're gonna need a lot more of them yeah 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 uh <laughs> 
yeah, dude. Ro- <laughs> All right. Rorschach's Cheer- twerk. Twerk. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. No, no, no. Bus, I- bus it. Bus it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a savage. <laughs> uh, yeah. I need to rewatch. Uh, Fuck that new body, watch. <laughs> curvy waist. Or wait, was it crazy? Uh, crazy body, curvy, wavy, big, little waist, big titty. Or what's the fucking song? <laughs> there's some whores in. There's some whores in this house. Yeah. There's some whores in this house. <laughs> <laughs> These whores aren't in here with me. I'm in here with them. <laughs> Robbie, that was something else that was awesome when I was when I was rewatching um, Batman versus Superman for the twentieth time. I realized Great that film. the reason why Batman is so sick in that movie is because he's just Rorschach. Like yes. that movie. That movie is kind of Watchmen part two. It is. It's, I mean, yeah, there's so much, it's, it's much more in tone with Watchmen than with Batman or Superman to be, comp- could be completely frank. That's so why I like sweet. it. Yeah. It's like Warshaw. Frank Shack Miller. Dr. Manhattan. It is. It's Frank Miller, Batman. And I like that. I just love Ben Affleck as Batman. I think he's like, I, I think he's the best Batman. At, oh, like, by a mile, he's the best Batman. Thank you, Nick. I, we, we just did a Batman podcast and I was yeah. severely outnumbered on this. We, who, who'd they say the best Batman was? Uh, wh- who'd you guys say? Uh, it, was, I, it was all of us. We were all on it with somebody. I don't else. know, Kevin Conroy. Yeah, I said Kevin Conroy. Oh, no, we were doing live action Batman. Oh, then it would be uh Christian Bale because he looked he looked the part of Bruce Wayne. But we said the most interesting one was Michael Keaton's Batman. Uh, oh, I'm, you fucking virgins! I would. <laughs> that is true. Uh, but I would say the only thing Christian Bale does that ruins it for me is the, uh, the voice. <laughs> yeah. the voice. I, it wasn't as bad as Batman Begins. They made it way fucking worse than the other ones. Dark yeah, he Knight, really it's do cartoony. Yeah. yeah. And Batman I like Christian Bale. Fine. And that's where I, Batfleck is great. Is he? Ha- he's the only one where somebody thought, why don't we just give him like a, a voice modulator? Yes, right? yes, that was way better. And that's a, and I think Affleck, like his Bruce Wayne scenes are more interesting than any of the other Bruce Wayne scenes in any other yeah, Batman cause movies. Yeah, because he, he's drunk and he's fucking. <laughs> and he doesn't yeah. even like the women that he's fucking. No, and he's like w- petty and vengeful and like fucked up. I love it. And he's yeah, old. Dude. I love older Batman. It's my favorite. Um. Because the Nolan movies, I, I think Christian Bale's good casting, but those movies are all about those villains. Except, I guess Begins is is pretty good, but yeah. the Dark Knight is all about Joker, and then Rises is all about Bane. I think. Yeah, I think Batman is boring as shit. Like the character Batman is like the least interesting character in the Nolan movies. I agree. I I have to agree. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we can do this every single time we do a podcast. Every together, single time, because I feel outnumbered every other time in my life. You got, 99% wait, you of my life, I live in fear of saying I like Batman versus Superman. And then when I'm oh, that's it is a bad Nick, movie. It's no. a really bad. Oh, Take God. it back right now. <laughs> it's a wrong. terrible movie, but oh, Ben Affleck that? is good in it. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Dalton. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I you know, I, 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 I like Wonder Dalton. Woman I, is used better in that movie than either of the two Wonder Woman movies, too. Zack Snyder is the only person who knows what to do. He, keep the bitch is going to be in a third of the movie, and she's going to look pretty <laughs> and keep her mouth shut. Yeah, yeah, that is, I like that. I do agree with that. Keep, <laughs> keep the bitch and, to a minimum. Keep. And Lex Luthor is going to behave like Max Landis. We love it. <laughs> yes. That's such a great character trait. <laughs> I've, I've been mean, like, going through all of the DC animated movies on HBO Max, and those are good. I just watched I, uh, Batman and Harley Quinn, and Harley Quinn fucks Nightwing in it. That's oh, cool. yeah. Doesn't she wow. also fart? In, she farts she in She farts, movie, farts in oh like, I like it. Yeah, they're in, yeah, they're yeah. in the Batmobile. And, oh, I saw that scene, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I sent it to the group chat. That's yeah, right. oh, she yeah, okay, yeah. Farts. It was pretty. Yeah, I like. I like that. Dude, that's I told you. Where it's like there's a bunch of fatty shit just like eking into everything now. Cause she I think, farts with the windows down. Okay, to be fair, that is accurate to a woman with BPD. So it is character. <laughs> it is true. Character accurate. That is actually true. Dude, women with BPD love farting and talking about their shits. It's so true. Oh they my look- god, dude! I never even thought women with BPD love talking about diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. They do. They all talk I, like Sarah Silverman. I have like firsthand experience with like, it's not like this is going to oh. sound like a rude generalization, but it's fucking real. No, I do too. Yeah. Every woman I've known that has BPD goes on and on about her bowels. And it's like, <laughs> all right, bitch, I get it. Your guts are all fucked up. 
<laughs> uh, we all have villainous BPD women in our lives. <laughs> yeah, Robbie, Robbie and I actually share one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get custody of her. <laughs> uh, you can have her, dude. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Man, this oh, is fun. Wow. Anything else? Uh, oh, I want to mention this. Speaking of Hitman, I was researching the dark web uh, lately. Oh, yeah. And all those Hitman websites apparently are scams. And a lot of people get busted, like paying. Do you know that, that these like websites where it's like you can hire a Hitman on the dark Hell web yeah. or whatever? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I love I, that. I, I, well, would, I would browse some of those with my buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, you used to like go on the dark web for uh to go on Silk Road and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, to buy drugs, have them sent to a fucking mm. um, PO box. Oh, what yeah. what, drug, what drugs were you yeah. doing, by the way? <sighs> ketamine. A lot. We were doing uh, like Molly, ketamine. Well, I wasn't doing the ketamine, um, but that's one of the ones we would buy. Molly acid, uh, pills. Pretty much most drugs, Robbie. Yeah, I'm yeah. just curious. Nice. I, yeah, you ever Joe's done. Poppers? Joe's done a lot of drugs too, and I You're have. Drug also, guy? But... Oh well, yeah, he's got I'm, the I'm... fucking lava lamp. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, I'm the drug guy of the loud boys. I love drugs. Do you do a I lot of you do you do a lot of acid, right, Joe? I used to, not as much anymore. I'm 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 getting back on shrooms. I'm getting back into shrooms. I'm very excited about that. That's Folks, awesome, I'm, man. I'm very excited. I think shrooms are you, I think you should do shrooms at least like once or twice a year and just like kind of reset yourself and kind of I need to do yourself. that cuz I've been that spiraling into alcoholism lately <laughs> mm. every time every and it's like i should do it, it I, I i'm waffling between like you know going totally clean or like doing shrooms twice twice a year because you're right dude it's like i'm good for like six months after that we're like i yeah. feel like rejuvenated i feel like creatively rejuvenated but I, and then but something about my brain my brain doesn't like that i have to do it every six months it's like oh, that should you want to just keep doing it yeah no oh no no i mean like it it like I feel What's like causing something... you to need to do this reset every six months? You know, right. It's, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get got, anxious I, yeah. whenever I do anything because I feel like something's wrong with me that I feel like I need to do this. Yeah, that's yeah. how I feel too. I'm getting that. I get that way too. I'm like, damn, I like, yeah. I mean, it's mostly booze for me, but I don't it, know. I just, I, when I'm doing it, it's like, well, damn, as, I guess as long as I have access to like this shit then I'll be fine. It's like, well, maybe we're just supposed to constantly be smoking weed and eating mushrooms. Maybe it's, it's actually true. weird that we're not doing that. Uh, and why are we so stigmatized? Like, oh, well, you're supposed to be fucking sad all the time. Why, man? I can do my job high as fuck. I can do most things. That's very high. Eastern. That's very well, Eastern. That's Joe, that is an incredibly Eastern philosophy. I can see the Asian in you now, man. I yeah, feel dude. Like hey, man, you know, that's it. It's, I, I do feel it's like, <laughs> look, you know, if it makes you feel good and it's like, it's not destroying you. It's like, look, if I was, if it chose between like me, like being able to provide for my family or buying a fucking bag of weed. Yeah. Then it would be different, but it's not man. Everything's in perfect harmony right now. <laughs> and if anything, <laughs> if anything, it's like, I need to keep doing the drugs I'm doing because I found out the recipe that makes it work for me. I get to live in New York. I have a nice place. Everything's good. I get to be I like high constantly. Joe, Joe explaining his philosophy, he sounds like he's lying to a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, it really, Joe explaining all of this, it's like, all right, Joe, are you talking to us or are you talking to Joe right now? Hey, man. <laughs> I'm, I talking asked, I whoever, asked, I asked. I'm talking to whoever needs to hear this. D all right. Yeah, Joe, Joe just became like Tom Cruise and Magnolia. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck. I was like, I'm going to listen to this guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I like that. No, I actually thought that was a good sentiment. It was just the shifty eyes that were cracking me. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's how it is. Started... Shifty Japanese <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, like, like, yeah, I don't know. You started like <laughs> raising your voice. I couldn't tell. It felt like you were getting tense as you were like. <laughs> so you're, like, is it is it okay cloth. for me if I drink like twelve white claw tall boys every night? I don't know. Is it is that making you feel good? Uh, for like two hours, yeah, mm. and then well, I feel got, bad. Well, like how? But how long do you feel bad afterwards? Like two days. Okay, well then it's not worth it because like, you only got two hours of joy out of something. Like when I do shrooms, I feel great on shrooms. I feel pretty good after shrooms. And then like, I, I'm, dude, I'm pretty like, I, I feel like I relate and I empathize with people for at least a few days afterwards. So it's like, okay, I got like at least like a good week of use out of these shrooms. If I, yeah, if I could say yeah. anything about Joe Gorman, empathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I do not give soul. a fuck. 
Yeah. <laughs> Normally I don't give a fuck, but like when I'm on shrooms, it's like, ah, people are all right. Normally I'm just like, fuck these people. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. I hope you get COVID and die. I don't give a fuck. But now I'm like, damn, maybe I should wear a mask for a little bit. People are afraid <laughs> of dying, you know? And then like a week after I'm like, man, fuck these people right back, dude. Uh, and then it's like, great. Five more months before I can get high and like people again. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, wow. great, that's how it goes for me um but hey it, it, uh, these aren't this isn't for everyone you know like there's some people that like need to hold on to their sobriety for dear lives because they can't enjoy you know they can't let go or, and like sometimes like there's stuff under the surface that shouldn't be brought to the surface because i think that's all shrooms really oh. do like, well i do have to, i do have to tell you all like because I was talking about this in the group chat, but in our group chat, but what happened to me the other night, because I went to a party uh, and we watched the fights and I got like shit housed because these girls kept wanting me to do uh, shots of tequila with them. And nice. You know, yeah, nice, it, was, it was fun. It was, it was that, a that, good that's all I'm like, this sounds like a great time. It was a good time. Although I don't I, like shots. I'm a cocktails kind of guy. Oh, yeah. You're more of a cock kind of guy. What? <laughs> Robbie yeah. likes cock. Fuck! <laughs> Got his Fuck. ass! Got him! All Got right. Him. Dalton, Dalton, stay focused and, and tell us about your inevitably sad story. All right. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Old, old empathetic Joe over here. Yeah. Enjoy that brief moment of respite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I got hammered. I came back to my apartment and it's, uh, you know, I had, I, I guess it was like, I forget when I got here, but you know, when you drink a lot and then like go to sleep and a few hours later, you have to piss really bad. So you wake up at like five in the morning. Oh yeah. So, yeah. so that happened and I got out of bed to like go piss, but I was still drunk and I just crashed right into my desk. Like I was oh. in the bathroom and just crashed into my desk and my desk isn't like put together or anything. It's just something my landlord found on the street. So it's just a big black uh desktop sitting on two metal frames so i crashed into it and the whole thing collapses and i fall onto the floor <laughs> and like all my shit goes flying everywhere nintendo switch is probably scratched up and <laughs> and uh i'm like delirious and i stand up and at first i go how'd this desk fall like what happened <laughs> <laughs> Dom, you, your story was a Family Guy beat. <laughs> yeah, dude, it really, dude. I was Peter Griffin. The other night. How, how then, this desk? How this desk break? As he's like but, on the desk. And then, but then my roommate starts pounding on the door, and he's like, "Dude, are you okay?" And I was so embarrassed at first. I just thought, like, I'll just pretend like I'm asleep and ignore. Him. <laughs> but he keeps beating on the door, and I was like, "Oh, she probably thinks I'm dead." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, man." <laughs> but I still had to piss. I still had to piss really bad, and I tried to open the door and it wouldn't open because the all the desk parts were blocking the door. <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck! I don't know how to get out of here." <laughs> so I just started. I just started. I started pissing in white claw tall boys like empty cans. <laughs> and I filled up one can. I filled up a can and then like had to cut off the stream to move to another can. And then I tried filling that one up. It overflowed, and I got a little bit of piss on my floor. And I tried cutting off the stream again to grab another can, but then I just I couldn't hold it, and I ended up pissing even more on my floor. My <laughs> and so now I have three full can, three full like of these tall boys of piss next to my bed, and I'm like, two You're still there." No, no, no. Oh, okay. I've cleaned up since then. No. Yeah. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be a funny time to put off cleaning. <laughs> well, I did. I did because I was so I was so hungover. I just was like looking at all the shit that I had to pick up and like all the cleaning I would have to do that I was like, fuck, I'll I'll deal with this later. And I went back to bed. I did and then yep, when I got been there. And then when I got back up, I accidentally knocked over one of the cans. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, peeing into a can is the worst because your dick is like around that sharp metal ah, shit. Oh, no, yeah. dude, my dick fits easily right into it. Okay. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Serious? Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I do have a big dick then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I, I think oh, I have a thick Dalton. dick. Yeah. 
Does it we really fit all... in a can? No, You're joking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know if he is or not anymore. I can't tell either. I no, think yeah. he's trying to be real. And then he saw like our shock and, and terror and let's be real pity. And then he was like, it's a, it's a bit, man. I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. yeah, Don, which, which extremely sad detail are we supposed to buy, not buy into here? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess after all of that, it, the cherry on top would be that I have a penis small enough to fit. <laughs> <laughs> let's just go home. yeah let's go with it dude it's like a hot dog was, in a hallway when i try to pee yeah. again yeah dude i was able to i was able it dipped right in easy dude <laughs> your dick and balls dip into the can it was like a perfect game of operation you just got right in got I did, yeah didn't even touch the sides <laughs> yeah that was brutal dude but it, hey fun party though <laughs> yeah dude that's what you got to do when you wake up and your life's a mess and your head's throbbing it's gonna be like how much fun was that though I that's a problem you. with drinking it's so fun it's so it's the most fun thing ever yeah, yeah you feel like i shit. saw and, and one of the tiktoks i watched was a tarot reading that said someone is thinking of me <laughs> a and tarot I think read girl, it was a no it was a <laughs> Come on, Rob. It was it was yeah, it was Tara Reed doing a Tara Reed reading. Tara Reed's Tara reading. My rapist will become president. <laughs> uh no, it was a Tara reading that said somebody is thinking about you. And I was like, oh, that's yeah, it's the girl I met at that party. So now I'm just I'm now we play the waiting game for her to hit me up on Instagram. It's actually a roommate who thinks you're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It would have been so awesome if you were just like so embarrassed that you pretended to be asleep until like the fucking fire department showed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there, I'm, I, you, there's like, wee, wee, wee. I said I'd deal with this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're be they're beating my door down with an axe, and I'm still like, just be cool. Don't wake up. Don't let yeah. them know you're don't <laughs> you're just hitting snooze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I dude. I don't know what happened. I've never had this happen, but some it like fucked up my arm, and for like a whole day, it wasn't just a bruise. It was like this giant knot on my arm. I don't know what happened. Damn, but dude. Damn. Yeah, dude. My life is a, a tragedy. I used to think my life was a tragedy, <laughs> but now I realize it's a comedy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's specific, <laughs> Dalton, it's specifically a Buster Keaton comedy. Yeah, yeah. Dalton's yeah. always hanging by Big Ben on the fucking. <laughs> we love Dalton. We do. I'm the Dalton's best. the heart. He's the heart of the show. He, he mm -hmm. is, but we, we're very apprehensive about partying with Dalton. I you want to party be. with I uh, dude when I when I make it out to uh, next time I make it out to New York after all this craziness I definitely want to party with you guys. Oh, oh yeah, we, we, Dalton we and I parties. when Dalton and I are synced up and when we're drinking because we're kind of off and on I feel like a lot but when we're synced up it's a it's a menace. Oh yeah, what were we doing the other night? It was just us going, I'm a bitch, I'm a I'm bitch, a <laughs> I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, we were just screaming that at girls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'm, I'm a, bitch. a bitch. And I'm they're like, those aren't the lyrics. <laughs> we, were like, we don't care, bitch. Don't I'm a, a bitch. I'm a bitch. <laughs> I forgot. That was a good ass bit. That was so fun, dude. Because <laughs> anytime I think of that song, that's the only lyric. <laughs> It's the only lyric I know. Yeah, dude. I'm well, a it was just funny that because some girls put it on and they were like, "All right, whatever. we'll sing along." And we, oh yeah, I think we were like trying to sing over it by just going, "I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch." I'm a bitch. Uh, good times. Hell yeah! God damn, dude. Yeah, Nick, what's your deal? <laughs> when, did you, when did you start comedy? We, um, oh fuck. <laughs> I don't well, know. We're, we're an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you're, and you're interviewing our guests. Where you, hey, where are you from, man? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I don't know Nick at all. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Where are we uh, yeah, we are. No, I no, I'm not gonna answer any of those questions. Yeah, you shouldn't, dude. This Nick, Nick's, from, no Nick's from Baltimore. Yeah, I'm from Baltimore originally. I started mm. doing comedy in like 2012 or something. All right. Yeah. How that's all. That? Hey, that's all I need to know. 
That's it. Seemed like, not, seemed like a cool guy, dude. There's not much more to it than that, honestly. That's it. So are you, are you done doing acid, Nick? Is that is the is the honeymoon over there? <sighs> I might do much. Joe's Joe's kind of talked me into doing mushrooms again. Oh yeah, honest. dude. With hey, his man. Tongue. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing in your brain that won't hurt you, man. A lot of times, like, you need to. Look, one time, I was I like, disag- I like, completely not, not disagree. Not <laughs> true, dude. There's well, no, so I, much in my brain that will dude, hurt don't me. Let, well, no, he's these little fucking. Don't let these little boys scare you. Well, man. no, look, Joe, Joe, I'm, I'm a, I'm like a, I'm like a psycho knot. Like I've, yeah. I've done a lot of that. But the thing you need is, to do that, yeah. I, yeah, and I'm glad that I did. But I don't, I don't get any extended benefits from acid trips, other than I feel like the traumatic experiences i had on it i've had on acid have like prepared me for life yeah but, like what you're absolutely. talking about with with mushrooms i'm like that you know it's true like i feel like i feel sharper i mm-hmm. feel like a better person and it lasts for like six months it's a good feeling it's a good vibe and like uh, one time i was on shrooms and like i was thinking about like all of my failed relationships and i was like damn this sucks i can't believe that fucking bitch left me yada yada And then like, you know, I was like looking back and I was able to like, kind of like review the relationship. And it was like, well, I wasn't really in a good place mentally. And, you know, everyone deserves to be like in a relationship that makes them happy. And if she wasn't happy, who am I to, you know, be like, it's not worth it for her to be miserable for me to like, just be in the security of a relationship. So like, for me, I was able to like, kind of like fucking put a close that chapter of my life and move on i i I think i would have done that i really don't i don't understand joe at all it's like you swing so wildly from psychotic to reasonable no so so see i think dalton (laughs) and joe Joe, i'm 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 vibing with joe right now because i I, because i can be the meanest person ever but also like my values are like acceptance and peace (laughs) yeah well it's it's like uh there's what people think you are and then there's like your true grit and 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 the real personality and and the real and like you know the bullshit kind of falls aside but people have to earn it people have to earn that insight into you you know yeah man you can't give away this insight for free you got to be on a podcast for an hour and 45 minutes before i tell you the benefits of of psilocybin (laughs) before you give away details like you're from baltimore yeah right (laughs) (laughs) you know it's i i uh I, I, you know, I think that used to be more true for me where like, I would kind of like anybody who I met, like I, Robbie will tell you, like the first time mm-hmm. I meet somebody, it's almost like, I'm like trying to like endurance test you where I just, like, yeah. it's probably, I probably made like the worst first impression just to like, see if you can hang, but I've been trying to stop doing that. Cause it is fucking psychotic to do that. Yeah. 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 Um, when I met, when I met Nick, he was like, yeah, I just don't like race mixing. Like I, I did not think it was a bit. He said it so, so That's, much. Like, yeah, I'm just like not into race mix- mixing. Oh, so Nick, oh, Nick dude, is just no LA way, Joe. Like, you could like, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, and then so it's somebody because Robbie, Robbie's like sitting on the couch next to me and he's like looking down at his feet. He's like, I mean, Hey man, I'm mixed race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm it's, getting... it's so. <laughs> it's so, Joe, it's so wow, Joe and Nick are really vibing here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's, it, it is crazy well, how you've seen all of his like hopes. It's like, oh no, what, what am I gonna do? Like, also, I don't want to, because like, Robbie also like would not want to like say anything like upset somebody either. So it's like, well, fuck, what am I gonna? That's awesome. That must have been like such torment for him. Thinking, like, oh no, how am I gonna like? handle this in a way that's awesome what a, what an awful situation you put my friend in nick <laughs> <laughs> but, then we, but then we hit it right off i mean i just yeah. like i think what you were saying about psychedelics like especially like the relationship thing spe- specifically i remember like the first time i had like a really strong acid trip i literally had like a whole perspective shift the next day where yeah. i was like i was like why would you fucking be mad at anybody for any personal choice that they make like it's and like crazy, right? you you know that in the abstract but it, it's the difference between knowing it and grasping it and it just like completely changed who i was it's i mean like, i just uh, don't yeah. want them in the same bathroom as my daughter fair totally fair i mean come on you guys you you take you take like the psychedelics and you see the big picture mm-hmm. and then like once the drugs wore off like it's right like you go like right back in yeah you now. snap back dude <laughs> you know? well yeah, well yeah. but yeah, yeah but you take shit with you and you're like oh now i see like how to apply these like these these the, big crazy what concepts. was that what was yeah. that thing you said on matt and shane that was like you were watching like horror movies on acid to like train your brain i was trying to traumatize myself into having a stronger brain <laughs> <laughs> so I <did> like, <laughs> dude, I, 
okay. <laughs> it's like it's like you and Joe, you and Joe both kind of make me feel insecure because like you guys seem more stable than me. But it's like no, you're both psychos. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Well, that's. <laughs> well, no, it's just like. I, you know, I'm very comfortable like white knuckling it, and I th- and I credit that to like nights on acid where like I was positive that I was actually dying, and being positive that you're actually dying while you're also tripping on like five tabs. It, I don't know, man. Like it, like I like it makes your threshold for like um, uh, discomfort, like physical mm-hmm. or mental, like very high. I could not agree more. It's like once you if you like make it through like a bad trip, like a bad trip. Where you're like, uh, my life, my I, mentally, I'm going to be fundamentally different forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you make it through that, then like everything else you do in life is like, what? This is fine, dude. Dude, See, it I, made. Yeah, <clears throat> I talked about this. Okay, so I, I like, I was sleeping in my car for a little while, which like, and I think the only reason why I didn't freak out is because of this like anxiety management thing that I learned from when like I would be on too much acid, and it's like when you're tripping too hard and it's really bad, but you realize like there's still seven hours left in the trip. And I just like, and I got really good at just like being in my thoughts, making the time pass and just like focusing on like, this will eventually be over. Yeah. And I, and I like, I applied that same thinking to when I was like freaking out, like living in my car and like, and like any, pretty much any stressful situation I have, like the, this will be over soon mentality. Damn. I remember like, well, I did like three tabs of acid and this is like the first time I ever did acid on my own. And like, like the last time I did acid, I did like four, the, the last time I did acid before that, I took like four tabs of acid. So I was like with a friend of mine and we had like an awesome time. So mm-hmm. I did three tabs of acid, like on my own. And I was like, fuck, like within like an hour and a half of, of the trip, I was like not having a good time. Took too and much. I just remember, I remember, I remember just being like, oh my God, it's over. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm sure it's like almost done. And then I was like, okay, well, there's like two and a half hours. Like I'm only like two and a half hours in. I'm going to like, it's going to feel like even longer because I know there's at least six more hours of tripping, at least six hours. And that's probably going to feel like 20 hours. So I was like, well, I better learn to enjoy this. And that's like what I was like thinking. Cause it's like, this is going to suck otherwise. <laughs> so it's like, I'm fucked up. And that's what like, you have to keep thinking is like, I'm fucked up. And like, this isn't how my brain is going to be. And anyone that was like a little like off because like no one like goes crazy from doing acid. Like there was like some underlying shit. And like yeah. they might have done acid, but like you know, it's like you see like a crazy guy, like, and they're like, this guy's on drugs. It's like probably like maybe, but like there's like an underlying issue, and and drugs probably exasperated it. But yeah, I mean, look, dude, like you, you fucking those Wall Street guys, they're on meth, like they're on like actual fucking meth, Adderall and shit. Yeah, yeah. who would ever do such a drug? <laughs> who who would ever do it? It's not I'm <laughs> I'm completely drug free, but I do love Sudafed. Let me tell you, it's a great drug. But you get a lot done. You don't have to sleep. It's beautiful. That is like as much as I talk about like like kind of like as much as I do like drinking and stuff, I I think the only thing I've ever like come close to getting truly addicted to was like Adderall. That shit is like that is the devil, Adderall. Because it I works. Think. It works. And like the, the feeling it gives you is effective, man. It makes you feel good. And like the devil that got that gets me is it's like productive, you know? Because mm-hmm. my one yeah. thing about writing like, I'm doing. Yeah, exactly. I don't like I I think I keep my drinking just to weekends or not that I binge when I do it, but I don't do it like super often. But Adderall, I would like do it like all the time. They'd be like, well, I'm doing stuff. I'm getting stuff done, you know, because right, right, right. that's the devil right there. I'm so into like, I'm so competitive and productive that it's like, oh, man, because it, it's like, it's also like as writers and shit, you hate writer's block and stuff. Right. And then it's and just, you can like, just power through. Like, it's like Adderall is like you hit the wall and then you take like Adderall and you just fucking punch through that wall. And like, you can yeah. just like punch through and like eventually like it's, you start to slow down. And yeah. you're like, I just need to take more Adderall. And like, yeah. that's the problem is you don't. That's the evil of it. Then you start taking right. it more and more and more. And then, and then, and then you just turn to a fucking meth head or a speed freak or and whatever. Then, so instead of like learning how to like work around the wall organically on your own, you, you don't even like, it's just easier to take the Adderall and like, it's fun instead of like dealing. And like, that's what it comes from is like, yeah. it's not addictive because like you like what it does. And by the time you like the you fucking, like yeah. It, it's like it's like so ingrained with like what you mentally your brain is trained to like if i can do this thing this action i associate doing this thing with feeling good so even if you're not like tripping and and getting like the same high you were doing the substance the action of doing that your brain still releases some kind of serotonin not nearly as much as it was on top of drugs because diminishing results but it's still there right 
the action yeah. of doing something stimulates your brain just as much as like the action of getting like actual fucked up. True. You know? yeah. 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 I don't uh, know. Joe, how... Joe's on the money here. Yeah. No, I have nothing to add. You're completely right. It's. I don't know uh... how like win- winter in New York with this pandemic. I don't know how everyone isn't just completely fucked up all the time right yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm all high. all of my bad Every habits yeah all my bad habits are just getting worse i'm beating dude off I, i've been drinking so much that i, I am convinced i'm gonna die <laughs> don't then don't I, drink so is, much I, honestly like this is like the healthiest i've been I, i've been i got like a good workout program i got kettlebells going i've been i've been smoking weed i've been drinking a lot of water yeah, dude, I'm, water I'm on the water. I'm on my probiotic tip right now. Like, yeah. I'm, like I'm doing like high fiber probiotic state. I'm all D'd up. I'm vitamin D'd up, dude. Nice. I, do, I do not want good, COVID. To get I'm turning me. it around. I'm turning it around. I've yeah. started cooking for myself again. And it, that does feel good. But then That's I binge eat on the weekends. Yeah. I'm like, I'm such a different guy in the week and weekends. See, I week. eat once a day. And then all of my other calories come from White Claw. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What do so you it's like a, for the day? What's your one meal, Dalton? Uh, it's usually like a bacon, egg, and cheese, or like a tuna melt, maybe a uh, chopped Ooh. cheese. I love so those I, sandwiches. I, I, those I'm, are all I'm good. Bod- I, yeah, that's I'm good. I'm one shit. bodega sandwich a day myself. Like, there's a really good bodega by my house. You guys yeah. only eat once a day. I eat so fucking no, much. No, I if eat, I'm I eat in multiple the... times a day, but I have at least one of my meals is is a bodega sandwich. Usually, what? it's like the last meal of the day because that's. <laughs> That's when I'm in the when I'm in the throes of alcoholism, it's usually yeah, eat once a day, and then the rest of your uh, caloric intake for the day comes from whatever booze you're drinking. I try to eat like twice a day. I usually have like an, I I usually eat like my first meal is around like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. I get up at like eight, but I just like drink coffee because I'm not hungry when I wake up. Right, and like my first meal is something like like oatmeal or a soup or a salad, and then like my second meal is just like whatever. You know, I want to have like a lot of it, but I don't know. But I, the most important thing is like just listening to your fucking body when you're yeah. hungry, because it's weird. Like why, who decided like, oh, you need to eat like three breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's like, like a lot of people like it, they they eat because it's like, oh, it's I'll lunch tell you time. who did I'm on my big egg. Break. That's a conspiracy yeah. from big egg <laughs> <laughs> and dairy, big dairy, you know, trying yeah. to push yeah. like, the idea of, of all that. The, oh, dairy, the dairy queen. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go to the dairy king yeah. all right yeah dairy, the, uh, is there a dairy you... king <laughs> <laughs> larry david or larry, larry, larry wouldn't it be funny if it turns Wait, out the dude... instead of larry king it's dairy king <laughs> yeah that's what yeah, dairy, <laughs> dairy king live i've got milkshakes with oreos in them call it what do you think <laughs> <laughs> Dan, the, the, the dairy king employees aren't turning the blizzard upside down what does it mean for america yeah. <laughs> dairy king and then th- the dairy queen is the fucking resident evil bitch oh, <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, tell me that's she has a lot of milk in her fucking boobs yeah, oh the, dude uh, yeah the resident evil eight big bitch definitely has milk in her titties definitely yeah. dude gallons yeah. dude mm. the most delicious milk you've ever tasted unpasteurized raw yeah. milk out of those titties <laughs> and you got sonic the hedgehog you know we could throw that oh, out yeah. and he's cooking up the chili dogs <laughs> yeah yeah golden rings sonic's got it others don't damn i wonder if there's any uh big bitch deviant art yeah i'm gonna there oh yeah it's there out there is. dude I already <laughs> <found> <laughs> wow they were quick to that lady oh. dimitrescu deviant I, art i was shocked when i saw and i'm sure i'm sure it'll happen now because of like the movie coming out but like when i saw the kong trailer i just did a cursory like uh godzilla king kong having sex porn there's oh, like no. two there's only like two drawings they there's it, there's a surprisingly small amount of like king give kong time, fucking dude. godzilla give it that's time, what i'm dude. saying hopefully the movie Did will you like see, bring uh, awareness guillermo del toro uh del taco he said um uh like he was like um i want my uh robots from pacific grim to fight godzilla and kong next Oh, they'll probably they'll cool. probably do it because I think they're owned by Legendary. Yeah, but it's like, they dude, could... you want a you want an Oscar for best director? What are you doing? Like my robot should fight Godzilla and Kong. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, honestly, because that's like who the, he is. Yeah. That he True. like it's it's actually kind of weird that he won an Oscar because he's kind of like a fucking nerdy pulpy filmmaker. Yeah, he's like a genre filmmaker. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. like he just wanted to fucking film a woman getting fucked by a fish monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, how can yeah, I do this? Got an award for it. Yeah. Fucking creep. 
Um, yeah, dude, but, when like, she explicitly yeah. explains how his penis, cut, like how the fish monster fucks her, I was like, this, that would have oh, been a cut. freak. That was if a crazy, was... crazy best picture winner. I love that movie. Weird movie. It's a good movie. Oh, it's a great yeah. movie. I was just surprised it, it won Man, best. Like, women the Shape of Water is, it, the Shape of Water sucks, enough. dude. I, <laughs> I like Shape of Water. Dalton, how, Dalton, I, you how know, do you have like the worst fucking takes on movies, I wanted, I wanted to like Pacific No, I have, I have impeccable taste and the shape of water is a bad movie. No, it was tight, dude. It's a bad movie. It was tight, dude. No, it's good. I, Why don't you like it? it? It's it's like worse than race mixing. It's interspecies. <laughs> well, yeah, but at the uh, look, here's here's why I like it. It's cuz it's basically the creature from the Black Lagoon, but he's like, but we're going to It is weird that he was like, but they actually fuck. Like it's not an implied Well, it's also he just completely copied First off, it's pretty much Ape Sapien down to like he eats eggs. Come on. Come on. You just you stole that character from Hellboy. Right. Then, well, it's his movie. It but it's not his uh, intellectual Characters. property. Yeah. yeah. No, that's uh, Mike Mignola. And new Hellboy stuff. I just did though. I just didn't care for the movie. I didn't really like it. You know, like <laughs> Michael Sh- Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon's great in it. Look, we're gonna find that fish. I just didn't. I just didn't. It didn't touch me at all. I just yeah, thought it was corny. The cra- I'll say I like the craft of the movie. I, no, I, I I like the movie. It's weird. It does feel like it would be like a PG rated movie. It's weird I, it was that like it's a, an R rated movie. It was like a fairy tale. That's yeah. why I liked it. I just think it's a weird one for the Academy to be like, hell yeah, because I usually don't like awarding like offbeats because it is kind of offbeat mm-hmm. too but i guess they're awarding weirder movie like parasite winning best picture is also kind of like a surprise yeah they we're and- just trying to be like look how cool we are we, yeah we, well, I, I did want to say i did some i did some scrolling just now and there's some great big bitch deviant art if you can share <laughs> thank it. you for the update yeah dude yeah Dalton, see nick you think i'm shit. bad <laughs> <laughs> I, know. Dalton, I just i gave you the ability to share go ahead and share that baby Oh yeah, you want? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. share that deviant art. Let let's us all see get it on here, taste. dude. Yeah. I gotta pull it back up. There we go. Yeah, Multimedia. This is what Zoom's all about. Yeah, let's um, all enjoy this. Let me see. Let me find a good one. Give us a little something we can all enjoy, Daltania. Yeah. Yeah. Let's oh, let's finish cool. the podcast by all beating off together to this yeah. uh, fucking Ooh, we fish. Should. We can do the cookie challenge. What's the, the Jake Flores. Ch- it's let's where see. everyone jerks off on a on a cookie, and the last person to come has to eat it. Um. Uh, I'm last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's one. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay. Houston. I'm horny. Here's nice. one. How's that? Yeah, dude. Nice. nice. Like that. Oh my god. There's so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, here's dude. one. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, I'm in love with big bitch. I'm right. turning. Uh, uh, some of these. Uh, 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 <laughs> milk. Crazy <laughs> <the> evil milk. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! <laughs> this is good. I, you know the best part is all of these people will have like jobs in the industry in the next three years. Like, like yeah. this guy will be animating a Cartoon Network show. Oh my god! Oh, you have <laughs> to learn <laughs> deviant art. Oh, oh look at oh, I'm telling you, so much, so much of the appeal is the titties and the dress, like the way that they yeah. show off the. This titties. one, this one, whoever drew it made her a little corn fed. I like that. Yeah, she's she's kind of corn fed in the game. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm in love with her. Yeah, she is kind of a corn fed big bitch. Uh, now, they're starting to take liberties with I love these it. Tits, I mean, this is this one's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this one this one's just ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, is, that Dal- fucking... is that Dalton in the lower right hand <laughs> corner? It is me. Yeah, it, it is me holding your hand. <laughs> God damn, dude. Props to Goku Senpai. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that oh, is yeah, good. Dude. I'm going to die, but I, the, the caption is, I'm going to die, but I love the new vampire mommy from RE8. Man, <laughs> oh. they got it. <laughs> they got it. Oh, oh so that must be, that's supposed to be him because that looks like his picture. So yeah, that's, so he's literally imagining that the, that oh, his yeah. Mom, that's, that's oh, Goku yeah. That's Goku Simpai. Oh, I love the, I love the uh, uh, tags Cougar, Mom, mature. Difference. <laughs> Difference. Yeah. Dude, if I tall. could, you know, it is, it is sick. It's a pretty good workaround. Like if if you're a, ver- a nerdy virgin, if you're the nerdy virgin. Um, yeah. <laughs> to just be able to, to to just be able to draw yourself fucking hot chicks. That's got to feel powerful. Oh, absolutely. oh, dude. Yeah. That's, that's the, the oh, yeah. That's that's their one semblance of power. 
that well yeah. like grant morrison <laughs> believes in his like you know uh fucking mad science wizardry that he manifested his girlfriend by writing himself in the comics and giving him a a girlfriend in the comics and then she showed up in real life and he believed that he was a uh, tarantino true romance true romance oh, was just so him like me, in, me envisioning just... he was writing a scenario in which he gets to fuck yeah. Let me just storyboard a comic right now. And then Dalton met the big bitch from Resident <laughs> Evil 8. <laughs> All right. And that, hey, now we wait. <laughs> <laughs> and now we play the waiting game. Well, now I just got to wait for the universe to send it back to me. Yeah. The vibe's been put out there. The vibe's out there. I'm going to meet the big bitch and we're going to get married or she'll kill me. Either way, I'm happy. Do people remember that these are scary games? <laughs> we don't care anymore. Them, well, hey, no, them, they, them titties kinda, ain't scary. Resident Evil games have been like kind of sexy for like a couple, like a decade now. Ever since they incorporated oh, really? like Alice and shit. Yeah, dude. Um, but like Resident Evil 7 Alice was, was hot. pretty fucking yeah. cool. Resident Evil 7 was cool because it was like a first person. It was very atmospheric. Yeah, yeah I, pl I played it. Like, it I played it, it in nuts. VR and almost had a heart attack. Yeah, I was like, dude, it was I like, I was like, okay, that. I'm way too fucking high to play this game. Like, if dude, I played like it was, person, it yeah. was so scary. It it's was fucking intense, terrifying. Dude. I couldn't, I couldn't play it. Remember that Dead Island where like you're on like an island with yeah. zombies? I had a hard time playing that game when that came out too because I'm just like too high when I play video games that. Dude, even like something like even like games like The Witcher and stuff where I have to like go into dungeons. I'm like, all right, I gotta like wait until like I'm not high. So like, oh like, yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm, if I'm, if I'm, I'm such a bitch, like especially with jump scares, which a lot of horror games have. Like I, I, I hate it. I, I dug. Right, the, did you guys play the remake of Resident Evil Two? No, it looks sick though. Yeah, looks that's one of the good. best games I've ever played. It's really fucking good. Because that, that was the the whole reason I hated the original games was the that the fucking controls and the pre rendered shit. Yeah, the tank controls. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It fixes that, but it. You know what's funny? It's scary, and it doesn't rely on jump scares. It's scary okay. because like there's like a dude like stalking you through the whole game. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Nemesis. Yeah. Fuck. No, no, no Nemesis no, no. is part three. Oh, that's three. Oh, His oh, oh, oh. Yeah. The oh, that's, oh, Mr. Uh, that's Mr. Right, X. That's right. Yeah. Well, dude, right. that's what I loved about. Did you did you ever play Mr. PT? X. Yeah, yeah, my friend had PT. Oh, he was so pissed. Dude. My friend had PT on his PS4, and we deleted it to like, oh, <laughs> to like install yeah. NBA. Dude, you could oh, if no. you still had that, you could sell that bad boy on eBay for for a pretty penny, I think. Yeah, he was furious with us. <laughs> God, Dude. oh, was man, it that? Sucks. Was it that demo? It was. Yeah, but that thing, that game, that's scarier than like most games because it it's a game. Well, that was that, a Del Toro game, right? Or yeah, with no. him and Kojima, we're making that, a game yes. together. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it kind of went on after Konami like canceled Silent Hill and all that. They kind of mm. went on to make oh, right. Stranding. They canceled Silent Hill because they found it saying the N-word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they, they found a video of Pyramid Head killing a black person. <laughs> like, there shouldn't be any black people in Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God uh, damn, dude. Well, you know, they made somebody uh, based off of the PT demo there's like a, I don't know if it's out. I know it was like in beta, but there's like a full length game that's like in the style of PT. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I like shit like that, dude. Like when it's just full on, you're just tense the entire time. <laughs> it's just yeah, I, lo I like scary games. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. No, I don't. What am I talking about? <laughs> they get, they're too scary. <laughs> oh, dude. No, when I was a kid, man, I was all about Fatal Frame and uh oh fatal frame fatal, fatal frame, frame was, cool. was good Even bio bioshock is a little too scary but i love it it's my favorite game dude I i'm gonna sound like a bitch but like the game that scared me the two games that scared me the most as a kid were half-life and half-life 2 because like those oh, are scary works. games Funny anything survival home? oh i'll also say anything survival i don't love because you have so little ammo and i'm, I'm very bad at conserving it mm. oh i i love i love uh, i love the survival shit yeah that's i'm like, just Robbie, bad at you, it you would like uh, you would like Resident Evil Six. It's like an action game. Okay, cool. Yeah, the oh. Resident Evils four onward, they kind of ditch the survival stuff, and it's yeah. just like kind of running. Well, game. back in my day, you know, it was uh, Resident <laughs> Evil, not Resident Steevil. 
<laughs> that's right. That's yep. true. Uh, yeah. Hey, I just you know what? I didn't think about that. I found an Thank article you. online, and apparently, the bitch in Resident Evil Eight is eight feet tall. Oh, <laughs> mommy! Oh my god! They are based on the, the, the. Oh, because... so I would be right up against her tits. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. They, uh, yes. There's a. They. they I am a, making eye contact. I would say they have a. They have a, <laughs> an article. And they based it on the fact that uh, in one of the scenes, she enters through a pair of French doors and the average height of the French doors. And they, they calculated it. So it's like, this bitch is eight feet tall. <laughs> how, how fucking uh, horny are people? That they're a, doing this a, it, it is called a, it is a Kawatu article. And uh, it, it's from odds and ends. And the article title is, I figured out how tall the sexy Resident Evil lady is because of course I did. Oh, oh my god! So just the, the funniest little, part is the how? turnaround. She is in that trailer for three seconds, and everyone. <laughs> hey, Robbie, and have you ever, Robbie, do you power. believe in love at first sight? <laughs> no, I don't. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, said, yeah, she's in the trailer. She's in the trailer for three seconds, and like in both instances of her appearing, she's like stabbing you. She's like yeah. stabbing the point yes. of view shot, and she's uh, yeah. And, <laughs> I honestly like I watch a trailer, I didn't even recognize her, and suddenly the internet was in love with this woman, and it's amazing. Yeah, Damn. something He's about her, dude. I mean, just something about her, you know. She yeah. put she casts a spell on all of us. It's because it's a I, different dude, kind of lady. I hope you know? she's I hope she's doing a bunch of tall shit in the game too. Like I hope she's like, like cleaning gutters and dunking baskets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dunking. It's like NBA Street where she's like breaks the rim as she dunks yeah. or something. The final boss fight is just a one on one game with her <laughs> with zombie Kobe. She's yeah. heating up. I, I don't I don't want to see because I'm I'm sure she's gonna transform into some monster and I just don't want I don't want to see that. You know, I just want to yeah, People were horny for like her little like uh, blood stained minions as well, and I, I wasn't. They were they were too like their hair was all fucked up and bloody. That, and had, that's like, people trying to be hipsters with it. Like, well, I'm not like regular guys. I like the minions too. Right, right, yeah. I'm into all girls. I, li I like the minions from Despicable Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sexy yeah, little. You, you got. Uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, the uh, the the Despicable Despicable Me Two movement. <laughs> <laughs> no it's not rape if it's a minion yeah they can't well, consent because they that, just go, that, ba -ba 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 -banana, yeah. banana. <laughs> banana he said his safe word banana he's always saying that yeah <laughs> dude i love it. have you watched that i watched that fucking movie like with my cousin and you know what's so funny like in the beginning of that movie they talk about like how the minions like helped out like every evil like person throughout history yeah. and then they they like conveniently disappeared right before the 1940s <laughs> they, 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 said that. they said they disappeared. well they no they don't say that no no they don't say like that but the timeline they do they like that's when they go dormant is like just before like when hitler would start coming around that's, that's so incredible. funny that's yeah. so funny yeah, yeah. Like, just like imagine they to, imagine a minion in a little ss uniform <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude imagine a minion on a tower with a sniper like, a, yeah they, yeah yeah like they jump on top of each other to pull the lever to release the gas and <laughs> 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 fucking guru is monitoring auschwitz <laughs> like, yeah one of, one of the minions accidentally locks himself in the gas chamber damn like what's that <laughs> oh, no 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 <laughs> night, 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 night. <laughs> they do a they do a, a sequel movie where like they take like the remaining nazis to america to get them enrolled in nasa and everything <laughs> like, oh and, like, not and, yes and taking and taking some of them to like south america to fucking repopulate and <laughs> so, so the nazi minions helped uh build the, the space program in the united states that's yeah. how we beat russia yes was dude. we had all the nazi minions well yeah. the minions um, actually went over to stop they, they became stalinists and then later maoists <laughs> after world war ii <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude, the minions the minions know their theory they know yeah. it very well oh yeah it's, oh yeah, yeah. Banana, no, <laughs> kill the landlords. <laughs> Redistribute the wealth. Redistribute wealth. <laughs> There's no good. <laughs> There's no good rich person. Weren't you just mm -hmm. killing Jews earlier? Look, we don't really have an ideology. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere yeah. is evil. You know, and that's a good that metaphor of... for politics these days. Dude, that was something that fucking like tripped me.
I mean, to like relate it back to your life, I just finished um, Pretend It's a City. Oh, and yes. They, Dalton was watching They mentioned too. a part at the end of that. It's good. It's good. Yeah. She, Fran Lebowitz mentions a part at the end of that movie where, like, apparently, like, I guess in the 70s or something, like, Lenny Riefenstahl was, like, getting invited to, like, socialite parties, like, in New York City. And I was like, I didn't realize that was fucking happening. I guess I didn't realize that she, like, lived her life as, like, a free woman. Yeah. She was, like, a, a woman about town. And, like, that's you know, back because it was in the middle of, the, like, the feminist movement. We're like, well, any woman's good if they're, you know, they look how much she achieved. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they learned their <laughs> lesson. Well, she let me read Apparently, I was reading. She apparently just like played the. She was like, she was like, yes, I made like extensive, like I made feature length propaganda films for Adolf Hitler, but I didn't realize what was going on. And it's just like, uh, really? Come on, really, bitch? Yeah, Of course you did. Of course yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, who me? I'm ju I'm just a girl. I'm just oh, widow old me. Oh, I didn't know they were killing all of those Jews. <laughs> <laughs> is that adam sandler yeah, coming this summer what? adam sandler is lenny reifenstahl yeah oh all right okay we're gonna direct a really good movie <laughs> what's with all the these jews Jeff. everywhere i don't like all these jews <laughs> yeah dude, pr pretend it's a city is beautiful dude it made me sad because that new york is done dude that's never coming back now right. taxi was... driver taxi driver new york's right around the corner man yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, New York's about to get dangerous again. Dude, New York is yeah. getting dark, dude. I walked to the bodega a couple of days ago, and on the sidewalk there was a an ATM that had been ripped open. It was like Hell somebody yes. had tore it out of. The, My God. Like, yeah, they took it out of whatever store it was in and like tore no. into it. It was pretty sick, man. I was happy for That's him. That's very scary. Yeah, and I've been seeing way more people nodding off in the oh, streets. No. Oh no. Yeah. People. Yikes, dude. No. When do you think it'll get back to normal? Never. Yeah, within a couple weeks, give it a month. <laughs> the next, the next time, uh, Joe We're New York babies. Yeah, dude. Honestly, like I think, I think things are gonna be fine, dude. I just want to yeah. get a little pussy. You know, I'm like, coming I back. Love... I would love to get pussy. I'm, uh, really I'm coming back in a few weeks. Yeah, I'm coming back on the 12th, and I'm like kind of not looking forward to it. I feel like it's no, like, Robbie. Not... We got a big, we got a big uh, podcast appearance coming up. I know. That's yeah. why I'm coming back. Well, yeah. I was coming back anyway, but still. No, that'll be great, but everything else about New York sucks right now. No. Nah, dude. You want to come over and drink several white claws? No, that, okay. <laughs> now I now this sounds like an incredible time. <laughs> Rob, you gotta yeah. go over there, drink white claws, look at pictures of the big bitch. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah. Right. Honestly, right. th this night's getting better and better. <laughs> yeah, Robbie, come over, drink some white claws with me, and look at some big bitch right. deviant art. All right, Don't okay, never mind. Easy. Guys, I think we I think New York is back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you should do I'm like one of those back. you should do like a socially distanced drive-in but it's just you projecting fan art of the resume <laughs> <laughs> we've sold out this event three nights in a row <laughs> <laughs> they're calling huh. it the biggest deviant art if they're calling it deviant art woodstock <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool to uh, like rent out a gallery in new york and just fill it with deviant art dude <laughs> i've had this exact fantasy i so a couple years ago somebody sent me this picture of um fix it felix and wreck it ralph docking like <laughs> like 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 wreck it ralph's cock is so big that felix is fucking the cock hole and he, ralph he, he wrecked it he wrecked, That's what they call him. Wreck, him. <laughs> wreck it ralph dude and the the grossest thing about the picture is the way they're like it's not even like a say it's like he's looking into his eyes like lovingly he's like got like his hand in his hair and he's like looking down at him like the way you you know the way you almost like the way you look down at like a son or some shit and the way robbie saw, looks at dalton when they don't yeah. <laughs> yes i'm familiar with the look you're talking about <laughs> and and like when i saw it i was like i like i want this should be in an art gallery like for one night and i and i like it I'd, like, belongs in a museum it fucking well, does dude nick and i want baked alaska's live streams in a museum they, they should play at moma they should they, <laughs> like they should just play like on continuous stream like they project them on a whole fucking wall you walk in and like yeah it, like the stream is like playing on you before you take your seat <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but Baked Alaska, you know, Baked Alaska is Joe and uh, Dalton. No, that doesn't. That, no. I, yeah, I know Baked Alaska. 
he's like a far right streamer who just who streams himself all the time throughout his entire life, including him doing crimes. And he streamed, and there's like a nine hour saga on YouTube of him streaming or uh, 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 like of him streaming, like getting together with two different women, one of whom might be mentally incapacitated. You know, uh, they both are. Oh, they both are. Okay. <laughs> one is autistic. One is autistic and one has like gang stalking delusions and he's cheating on the delusional one with the autistic one who also like, like, it's like you get five hours into the stream and they're still trying to figure out whether or not she's 16. It's, and the guy, like, I know that like, the, you know, the, the Oscars are going to be pretty like sparse this year, but I think you, that stream should be submitted for like best editing. Yeah, because <laughs> they literally they literally like transform this raw footage into one of I watched the whole thing. I watched all nine hours of it. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. Wow. I got to yeah, I, I still really, haven't watched it. I just know there was one where he was like in streaming himself in a store, like people freaking out that he wasn't wearing a mask and like people in the <laughs> chat. He, he has he has a chat set up where if you donate money, any like you can tell that you can tell his phone what to say. So he's just in the phone disturbing people and people are like typing out the N word and it's just yeah, scream. So the N word's screaming from his phone because they people keep downloading it and putting in the N word. It, it's, it's nuts. It's crazy. Awful. Yeah. So yeah, like that. And it ends that, with his that arrest. Ends... <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's another one that ends like uh, the, the chat. Cause they make, they make him do it a lot. Like they'll, they just like donate and then his phone starts screaming the N word. And there's a video that ends of him, like literally like being chased back to his camper by like just angry citizens. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking Dukes of Hazzard or something. Like the, yeah. the monorail guy from the Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> what do he say? The N word. <laughs> <laughs> Are these streams available somewhere? YouTube. Oh, okay. Know. They're yeah. fucking crazy. They're Robbie, will you awesome. hit me with those? Will you hit me with that link, or somebody yeah, hit we'll me do. with that later? All right. Yeah, yeah, just, I, yeah I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna follow both of you guys on a uh, on Twitter. I'll, yeah, I'll, dude. The, the, the nine hour, like, it's it's probably like the it really is like one of the best movies I've ever watched. He also it's, live streamed himself in the Capitol. So there's a bunch of, he videoed himself in the Capitol, and, and a bunch of people on. got arrested because of his fucking stream. That's good. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. That rocks. And 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 the cops keep coming up to him like you gotta leave and he's like I'm press. <laughs> he keeps saying he's <laughs> awesome. He keeps saying he's press. Awesome. I'm in, dude. I like this guy. Yeah. He also live streams Charlottesville. Like he's a, he's like weirdly notorious, but he's uh. And the f craziest part is he first got notoriety because he worked at BuzzFeed. Yeah. He he he's he, his articles. Some of his articles are still up, and they're all like fairly innocuous. They're about yeah. like weed well, he's like and a like dogs. He was like a BLM guy at first. And then and then he weirdly tried to pivot to socialist uh, at the beginning of this year, but then it didn't work, so he just went back to Nazi. Yeah, he he went even harder. He like now he's like advocating for like an ethno state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so... like it, in January he's like I love Bernie and I love Yang. I was like, "All right, dude. <laughs> he's got to grow up." Yeah, dude. <laughs> I agree. He's got with, a lot yeah. of he, Come on, dude. He's got a lot, lot of explaining to do. Come on, man. People are getting hurt, dude. We got to grow up. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I Are I got one hey, I, I got one thing to say to these Nazis. Uh grow up. Thank you. <laughs> new rule. Uh, grow new up, rule. Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get the vaccine Nick? Um I'm in a long distance relationship so I I would it hasn't uh, granted it hasn't stopped me from like flying four times this year to like be with her Fuck and her come me. here. Um but uh I, yeah, I mean I feel like I should get it just because I want to be able to see my grandparents and stuff mm. but i'm 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 definitely suspicious of it i mean there have been like there have been notable problems with vaccines in the past i mean like the swine flu vaccine back in like the 70s or whatever like a couple months later there were some like didn't a, a bunch of people like lost the use of their legs and shit a lot of people died a i can't see that thing is, i can't tell if it's just standard vaccine stuff or if there is something wrong with it because I, I i want the vaccine i like really want it i just want fucking life to go back to normal asap but mm -hmm. like, yeah, there's all these like freaky stories out there of like people like dr dying and getting sick. Well, like, can we I know somebody admit, got like, sick. Yeah, it, uh, it'll be very funny if all of those smug condescending comics are like, just get the fucking vaccine. If they if something bad happened to them, that would be very that funny. Would be... That, that's that's been my fantasy ever since the vaccine got announced. I was like, I hope these fucking motherfuckers who have been tweeting nonstop about how we have to stay indoors, get yeah. this vaccine, yeah. and then their then their tongue, they swallow their tongue. Bushwick <laughs> is just completely wiped out. 
Yeah. <laughs> Bushwick and Silver Lake well, have been wiped off the face of the map. <laughs> I I think that like I do think you should take COVID seriously. Like it's like it, it's definitely real. It's definitely scary. I don't want to sound like a COVID truther, but I also feel like. I don't know. Like I have traveled a lot. I haven't like, I, I still go to the grocery store, I do all this shit. I wear my mask and I wash my hands frequently and I'm careful. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure if you fucking do that and you, you're just like vigilant and you're not fucking around, it doesn't seem, it seems like it's enough to stop you from getting it. It seems like a pretty like safe way to go about life. There, there's gotta be in, but then in between with the two camps. Cause it's like, there's one side is just like, throwing huge parties storming the capitol without Matt. like baked alaska was covid positive when he stormed the capitol so uh sick. speaking of which <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's awesome that he it's awesome he was covid positive just like hooking up with 16 year olds and retarded girls <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's like a comically horrible person <laughs> Dude, true, a true agent of chaos. <laughs> he's like he's the joker but he behaves like a frat boy or something but then <laughs> but then the other side is like Never leave the house. Never do anything. Never get to get like it's going to kill everybody. So it's like there's got like every fucking thing in life. It's like, yeah, take it seriously. But I don't you know, I don't know. Like there's an, there's a medium here, you know? Yeah. It, but you know what's funny? Yeah. All that for all those people, all that shit goes out the window once they like decide that they're horny. Because I know so many people who yeah. were like so adamant about the lockdown until they were like, well, I got to go have sex now. And it's like, oh, okay. So you just have no real principles. It's you know, just I, well, I the, know some people. The main principle for oh, humanity what? is I want to have sex. Of course. <laughs> like, yeah. like if we're really getting down to it, uh, go it's ahead. Yeah, man. That's tenets. like what we were put on this earth to do. We're put on this earth to consume psilocybin mushrooms, <laughs> reset our brain <laughs> pathways, and fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And spread COVID to as many people as possible. Yeah, yeah. And live stream yourself fucking 16-year-olds right before you storm the Capitol <laughs> while guys, COVID positive. <laughs> have you guys ever had someone describe sex to you as creative? No, absolutely no. not. Ugh. Who are you, Who are you talking this, about, dude? There's another did BPD nobody, woman. Nobody say anyone's name right now. Oh, it's Lauren, oh, dude. Did it's that Lauren. Did that, did that fucking moron say that, dude? What a fucking idiot, dude. I thought she was the one who was all like, you know, be safe. And then she went out and had sex, right? Fucking hypocrite. Shut dude. up. Shut up. This person is, Shut up. Died. Way too much time on this fucking podcast. Way too much fucking time on this podcast. <laughs> I hope, I, I hope that, something I happens to her myself. vaccine, dude. I hope something very bad happens to her vaccine. <laughs> I hope like the fucking doctor's about to give her the shot, drops it, just fucking picks it up and and then fucking injects it. <laughs> <laughs> Misses the Dirt vein. On the tip. Yeah. I think we oh, also no, saw that one was filled with air. Oops. Whatever, yeah. dude. I, th I'm I never think we also. Gonna see I'm never we, gonna see this person in my fucking life. Holy we solved shit. the mystery of who the BPD woman was too. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, well, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> did, no, but she, did, she'll be on the show. No, she won't. <laughs> no way, dude. You're gonna die of a fucking COVID nineteen, dude. Come on, dude. The, the COVID nineteen vaccine, right? Yeah. To yeah, Dalton's COVID. point. Maybe she got it while she was being sexually adventurous in her artistic all right, all right. Nick, Creative. what were you gonna Nick, what were you gonna say? <laughs> at the beginning, at the beginning of the lockdown, I, I was I would say I was like one of those people who was like just staying I was very adamant about the lockdown. And to the point where like I wasn't I didn't leave my house for like 17 days or something the old place i was living at um which was really bad for me i was like sunlight deprived i was feeling yeah. really fucking sick i didn't leave for a month um, yeah yeah and, which is which was a mistake because once you actually do and you fucking wear your mask and you wash your hands and you go outside you're like oh it's it we sh like you need to like go on walks and go to the grocery store and see people and shit yep yeah um but it, it is weird that there's also a thing now where it's like especially like liberal comics uh, like, the, yeah, the shaming people who, like, you know, aren't able to be as adamant about it as they are. A lot of these people whose fucking parents pay their rent and all that shit. And, like, people who get mad at people for, like, getting the disease. 
That's my fetish. You, oh, you got oh, it. Yeah. Oh, you dumb bitch. It's like, yeah, nobody, no, everyone agrees you can fucking get it. People are talking people, about like, people what's really the reveled. People really reveled in uh, Dave Chappelle getting it. They seemed like really excited that he I got was it. excited about it, dude. A good dude. Another Muslim but, out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, again, yeah, sorry, very sorry. Eastern. Yeah, sorry, transphobe. Looks like uh, looks like God didn't fucking looks like you transitioned from somebody not dying to somebody dying of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're, you're yeah. trans too, there, buddy. Neil, oh Neil, I got I got the disease. Neil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Sprinkle. I some tested COVID on positive, right bitch. <laughs> um, but um. But that's the thing. It's like Chappelle got was like, oh, but but he's asymptomatic and fine, and he didn't even realize he had the disease till he tested. <laughs> like Rogan it's like doesn't have it. What's that? Rogan and, doesn't have it. And he but that's the thing. Like, All these people get it. it, and most of them survive. Like knock on wood, I don't want people to die. I do. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, but, I'm but certain they're, they're, everyone wanted all of those Republicans to die when they got it. And look, it was really funny when they all got it. But Chris Christie yeah. survived, so it kind of proved yeah. their point. Yeah, if Chris yeah, but Christie her, can survive, came, dude. dude. If you die of COVID nineteen, well, you gotta be a fuck. You gotta be on death's door already, man. You gotta have something. Mm-hmm. Like- no, don't, dude. Herman Cain was a vibrant, energetic. St- I mean, he was tweeting before it took him. What's the elephant in the room <laughs> here, though? <laughs> oh no! If God hates you, you'll die. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I'm telling you. I, I do, I will say, I know, I do know two people, like when I was home, two people that I knew, like while I was home, died of COVID. Oh, oh yeah. So, two, yeah, of my, yeah. Two, two of my dad's friends died, I guess. Uh, look, it, it, you should take it seriously, but that's, that fucking scolding shit is the, is the worst. Yeah, and, you, and everyone, do? everyone's a hypocrite about it. Like all the super hyper, like, like that fucking lady that tried to own me on Twitter. She posted right. pictures of herself going home into her mom's house without a mask and shit. It's like, oh, so nothing yeah. is nothing yeah, that, is real. That that woman's a fucking murderer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I asshole. mean, like, and you know, I'll, I'll put, like at the beginning, at the beginning of the pandemic, I kind of was like a person scolding it. But you know, once you get like, I, I was I was a person scolding other people because I was like, we just need to buckle down and get through this, all this yeah. shit. But it's like, you know, once you realize, like, okay like businesses are just shutting down left and right. There's no economic relief. Like people are losing their minds. We're probably going to be close to two years into this thing. It's like, uh, yeah, I was probably a little bit of an asshole. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, yeah. Well, when everyone's in the pharmaceutical industry and he says like, based on the way the fucking vaccine rollout has been going, the way people are, are so militant about not wearing their mask about how just like, just the way it's been, it's like, we're probably not going to have any semblance of, of normalcy and normalcy in the sense of being able to go out and do stuff until at least mid 2022. Jesus. Like, you know, uh, yeah, you know, like I, I, yeah. getting a little lax, but you know, I think people are, people are going to do shit this summer. They're not going to do another lockdown summer. I, no, I they think. can't at this point, like it's going to, and, and at this point, like the, the amount of money that, that like places like the, New York is just hemorrhaging money from loss of tourism. You know, yeah. I don't think we can really e- even Cuomo enough. Cuomo completely changes tune now. He's like, we got to yeah. open up. Well, you can't. When, when did he change down? his tune? When did he change his tune? Right after Joseph yeah. Robinette day, Biden. Literally the day like, after Biden got inaugurated. Same, same with fucking Newsom. Now Newsom's Everyone, completely yeah. flipping. They, they are yeah. being so blatant about what their plan was the whole time from creating the virus to now. <laughs> They, it's they a are, man-made disease. I to disrespect the president, and they're still disrespecting him. I have a shirt. I bought a shirt in quarantine. It's a sick band shirt. It's a shirt that has a vial of coronavirus on it, and it just says man-made virus. <laughs> and uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm still trying to, like, muster up the courage to wear it to the grocery store. Yeah. It, it was made in a lab. <laughs> uh, if you had any balls, it would say China man-made virus. <laughs> oh, oh my You know what's God. a funny move? Here, here's a funny move uh, is to wear a mask that says Trump on it. So then I'll it was, take off that mask. Could you imagine if Trump put out MAGA fucking mask? I think there oh, are. Dude. I actually know someone who has a Trump mask. So, <laughs> so funny. So Ugh. fucking funny. Dude. It's it's like you, these... don't have to, you don't have to support it, but you have to admit it's very funny and like until, are like, are until like, you're with like, it yeah. I, I i don't know if i tell you this but i have a friend who who's so into being maga he was like he had a credit card that said maga on it and he'd be like <laughs> he was like 
he, I'd be with him and we'd be at a bar and he's like, what, they're going to flip when I put what I pay with this. And it's like, and then they, nobody said anything. It's just so pathetic. Yeah, nobody cares. It's like, yeah. it's just like, whatever, dude. Make, like, I, make Amex great again. Yeah. A little wholesome joke right there. Oh, the wholesome riffs. Yeah. The, wor- the worst part about Trump, who is awesome and hilarious. He's awesome. Are his supporters because none of them it's he's it's like it's like Trump is amazing and everybody who follows him is like a Don Jr. Just it's, like it's I so feel, true. Yeah, it, yeah. but it's, that's yeah. on both that's on both sides, dude. Because all the people I'm seeing do that like Yas Queen shit for Kamala. It's just con- man. I feel I feel the same <laughs> way about Bob Dylan and yoga. Awesome. That's why. Thing. Terrible fucking fan base. <laughs> that's why I like Biden. He has no hardcore fans. I think really we need does. to. That is, we that's need. That's actually yeah. That's a we need point, politicians probably. who won't inspire people to wear shirts or merch. Biden. Is, Biden's the true, exact. Yeah. He's the opposite of Trump. Where like he has no fans, and Hunter has like a ton of fans. I love like, Hunter. Hunter's the man. Hunter's the yeah, best dude. dude. Well, yeah. I think low I think a lot of ways. Loud boy. Yeah, Lorez yeah. said he's the coolest public figure since John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! How, dude? How great is Lorez at assessing reality for exactly what it is? Is the best. Love that guy. Paul Lorez Wonderbread on a uh, Facebook yeah. and Twitter. Huge fan. I love that guy. I don't even know him, but I, I fucking his content so good. I'm yeah. Through, and I'm like, I gotta follow this guy. He listened. Yeah, he listened to our he likes our he liked our Kevin Smith episode a lot, which I thought we did just for us, but got a really good response, which is really funny. Oh, yeah, I hate tough. that. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Uh, I can't stand that. It's our most downloaded episode ever. <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, Joe Joe hates Kevin Smith so much that he doesn't even want us to find success. Shitting on him. Smith is the yeah. reason I started losing weight because I was like, I can't even. I don't want to be like another fucking fat guy that likes comic books. Now I got to be oh, like a fuck. regular looking guy. Did you do no, that like before he comics. lost the weight? Yeah, but I didn't have a heart attack and I'm not going to go. I'll never go vegan. I right. hate that. I want oh, to see vegan. Yeah, yeah, he had to get he had to get vegan. He did like this. Um, He did this thing for men's health where he was like, yeah, look at my fridge. And it's just like it's like it's like it's vegan food, but it's all processed vegan food. You know, so he has like fake like soy hamburgers and shit. And it's well, like, yeah, he's still uh, a fat guy from Jersey. Yeah. He it's doesn't like, know. Like, how. He, like, he yeah. would replace his diet with all soy. God damn it, dude! <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then like he, he tweeted had, like, out. This, like, uh, yeah. He tweeted out to people are getting mad at me because I say like uh, Wandavision. Um, Marvel is like my sports team. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> oh, dude, I, that uh, shit. Uh, Saying so Marvel so is bad. like so your sports corny. team is like saying I root for the New York Yankees. Dude, it's like okay, so not image, not not fucking. But at not, least the New York Yankees have fucking underdogs and like kids who are taken out of poverty to become great athletes or whatever. Hold on, Marvel is this. just a corporation. Let me say this: at least the New York Yankees are an actual fucking sports team. That's such yeah. a dumb <laughs> thing to say. That it's like you're what this fucking scripted Hollywood show is your sports team? You fucking this mass dull. produced thing. Oh, this that yeah, dude. It's also, also like, like he fucking- mocks sports. Le- he's a sports ball guy, right? So it's like, and then you get offended when we mock Marvel. <laughs> like, yeah, it's I also like nerds. that show. Dude, I want a that show, bully a nerd, dude. By the oh, way, yeah. that, that that show is watchable and ultimately forgettable. It's it's another every, that's every Marvel thing, dude. Exactly. Yeah. Well, because people. Like, yeah. When does Wanda Sykes show up? Um, episode three. Okay. The best cool. fucking dude, the <laughs> best fucking Marvel shit was with the Daredevil on netflix and like they don't even fucking acknowledge that that's not even like an it's, official it's, it's funny how the 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 marvel shit has revealed how fucking stupid most audiences are that anyone would watch wandavision and be like oh this is kind of like david lynch and it's like oh. fucking <laughs> idiot oh. it's nothing like david lynch it's, it's like, like too many cooks right no it's kind of like that's the pr- like, like that old um a British show, The Prisoner, but with none of the nuance or intrigue. Oh, uh, I haven't yeah. heard it compared to that. That's well, comic like book people are like, so yeah. into elevating their like, and like I like those movies to watch. Just like go, you know, it's like a thing you go see with friends, like or co- coworkers or whatever. And it's, and it's like a roller coaster ride. Yeah, it doesn't stick with you, but whatever, dude. No, um, I, I will nominating Black Panther for an Oscar was a fucking mistake. Was so I, stupid. Yes, that was so. <laughs> even on. at the time, everyone was kind of afraid. But to say it, they were like, 
Are we fucking? Is this Best Picture? <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? It's it's well, such a forgettable yeah. movie. I I don't even I barely remember anything about I, it. I I I think it's like one of the weaker ones of the Marvel it, movies. It is. I mean, yeah. it's still better than like any of the other uh, Marvel solo superhero. Fi- you know, like yeah. All yeah. Movie. The only good ones are kind of forget. Yeah. Go all ahead. the solo ones are like vegetables. Like it's like all right, we gotta watch this one. So and by the way, by the way, up. a lot of people don't know this, but the the. Something about the chemicals in the Black Panther suit is what gave Chadwick Boseman colon cancer. <laughs> so, yeah, your best picture killed yeah, the, the, the actor that was in his fucking. Oh, he played back. I thought he played Boseman. <laughs> so he's like an audio engineer. Yeah, he's like he's a headphones guy, a yeah, superhero. He, <laughs> he installs the stereo in your car. Bo's man to the rescue. Yeah, Bo. <laughs> Somebody's having trouble connecting their Bluetooth. <laughs> Look up in the sky. It's a Bo's man. Yeah. <laughs> up in the sky, it's 7.1 Dolby surround sound. It's Bo's man. <laughs> this calls for the quiet comfort, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he has a batarang of headphones. <laughs> yeah, his he- his uh, layer is just the magnolia room at Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> to the try it out cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bose yeah. man. Yeah, Bose Boy, man. See, who says you can't come up with great riffs two hours and forty five minutes into a podcast? I can't dude. I can't believe wow. how long we've been podcasting for a while. This is a oh, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah. dude. Unhang. I'm glad. Yeah. I felt, it, it, honestly, I'm glad we went this long. I feel like it took me a minute to like get in the groove with you guys. I know. Yeah. Dude, I, it, you got to find our frequency, and once you get and, it, you realize we're just kind of racist. This is a fucking. Fun- <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what Lemare meant because he said the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, you yeah. Guys are, you guys are a fucking good hang. This was a blast. I I do. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, I do have to. uh I do gotta gotta bounce probably in like the next five minutes if that's okay. Okay, I, no dude, worries. I'm, I'm surprised we went this long. I because I felt like we were hitting two hours. And I was like, damn, none of us have shit to do. This is awesome. Yeah, I, mean, I, I I love a long. I kind of like going long, like when there's yeah. like when you know good, when there's a guest or something. Yeah, yeah me too. Vibe, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. A good riff, man. Well, Nick, maybe you can maybe maybe and maybe the loud, loud boys. You guys want to like try and hang out so you can make an even three hours, so we can maybe maybe we could split it up into two episodes or something. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll, I can hang out for the next fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah! All right, we're back. Oh nice. And this is when we run out of things to talk about. <laughs> yeah. As soon as we plan, <laughs> the minute we plan to do more, it's like so. uh so what are Baltimore open mics like? Yeah, this is this is when we turn into open micers and we go, uh, what else? Uh, oh, uh, what, what do you guys yeah. want to talk about? Yeah, th- th- this is when we park our ship in the Davenport. Oh, <laughs> oh boy! Uh, hey, I guess we're never having him on the show. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Nick, couldn't get um, time off at the restaurant, dude. Nick knew our previous guest, Tom Myers, back in Baltimore. Oh, yeah. I, I Tom um, hosted uh, one of the very first open mics I ever did at the – it was called EJ's Landing, and then it changed to the Varsity Lounge. And I, I, here it's that, I actually – I love Tom. I've always really liked Tom. He's always been, like, a super good dude to me. Um, He's a nice guy. Yeah. Except that... when he – go ahead, Dalton. No, that, that was just the funny thing about having, like, a, an extended conversation with him is I was like, I don't know why people – or trying to dunk on this guy so much because he is a nice guy. <laughs> he's just a guy. But here's the thing. When it comes to talk about that roast battle we did, he's a monster. He loves – he's like, I should have won. I should have won. <laughs> like, he's always tweeting at me and tagging me and shit. But, Rob, so you, you need to understand two things. That's the biggest thing that's happened for him uh, ever. Right. And he's right. He should have won. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just mean like – Dalton? That's you're mean. On notice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's what's our rule? One of our rules is don't be, be rude. Ni- yeah, be nice and- to each other. That's right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look how nice. far my influence reaches, dude. Stop it. Be nice. Be nice. Don't be. Do rude. not be rude. Yeah. First and foremost, and that especially applies to the president. So who he's still called. Yeah, yeah. he is. Respect. We respect the office. <laughs> You gotta respect we- the office, both former and present. Well, uh, we- yeah. Guys, and you we- know what? I can't respect, respect a man whose middle name is Robinette. Yeah. Is that his middle name? 
Yeah. That's actually his middle name, Robinette. Joseph Robinette, Robinette Biden. Damn, what is up with Democrats having lame ass middle names? How about a cool how about like a middle name like fucking Wolf or or fucking Killer? And uh, how come they don't have the uh, Thelonious? Hussein they don't have was cool. kind of sick. Nah, not <laughs> anymore, yeah, dude. Barack Hussein Obama. That how about, is a cool how about name. Christ? <laughs> that would have been sick. Look, <laughs> that's what the tired. media thought his fucking name was. Well, honestly, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think the J stands for in Donald J. Trump? Trump. Donald Jesus Trump. He's right. Yeah. He's actually right, man. I think it's actually John. Is Donald really? John the Baptist Trump. Yeah. Sick. I love when people Jesus call him when was. people call him Donald J. Trump. I love it because it's like that's some respect. Oh yeah, that, it's a, to differentiate him from all those other Donald Trumps running around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to confuse because like with you. you know like you know like Donald Trump was available on Twitter, but he went by real Donald Trump on Twitter. Yeah, like, like, it, it's so no, funny. They, they owned they actually owned the domain for Donald Trump, and they're like, uh, and it was like. Uh, we are tweeting from at real Donald Trump. So they got the domain for Donald Trump and he chose to keep I at real it. Donald Trump. Yeah. Oh, he said not? he liked it. Well, apparently he said, he's like, I like it. They, now they know it's, it's really me. It's the real me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so yeah. fun. That's such like he, an old man way of thinking too. Oh, well, him. what's funny is like when Twitter started, everyone like Shaq was like the real Shaq. And like, it was before they had the blue check marks. So they said like the real blank right, or whatever. Right, right, right. And, and Trump did that. But then he was just like, I'm not changing it. Fuck it. I'm still I'm still real <laughs> Donald Trump with the blue check mark. Yeah, He's dude. double real. He's double verified. As usual, his first decision was perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The man yeah. can do no wrong. Some dude, of the I first love- things he tweeted about was his fucking roast. Cause I looked, I went all the way to the beginning oh, of his tweets right. and it's like, you know, they call these guys comedians tune into the roast hosted by Seth McFarlane. How, how long, <laughs> how long do you think it'll be until he's on like James Corden or something? Like until, I don't know. Do you think it'll be, I don't think it'll happen. Back? Ellen's going to befriend him because she befriends all fucking war criminal. That's right. Presidents. Well, I, f- Oh no, I guess he is. I guess he is technically a war criminal. I was like, yeah, at least his war crimes weren't nearly as egregious as Bush. His war but, crimes were pretty. No, no one in this three. country. No one remembers that though. Like, Last but, but that's the thing no one in this country has an actual short-term memory because if they did they wouldn't be yas queening kamala harris they'd be like oh this woman's a fucking maniac i'm glad but, kamala harris put my fucking parents in prison for my action dude well Good. that's my thing is like cultural like we have such cultural fucking amnesia like so quickly uh i mean this is kind of pivoting to a more republican talking point but I was thinking about like super bad and like 40 year old version and stuff like that. And like, like so many of those jokes are just like calling each other gay and stuff like that. And I just wrote a pilot script and I sent it to somebody and he's like, this is like really problematic. Like not even always sunny would do this. And I was like, motherfucker, always sunny in the pilot. Charlie says the N word. So yeah, it's just right. like, it's like, and that was not that fucking long ago. It's like, so by the way, such a... always sunny said the N word recently. Yeah. <laughs> so... So there's just such a massive fucking cultural shift and people act like it's just always been like this. And you're a bigot. If you, act, if you make the same comedy that you will, that that's like people grew up fucking loving. Always you know I mean? sunny. Oh, did, did you see the fucking episode where Mac like comes out as gay or whatever? Like it was yeah, I did. the low, like, the low point of the series. Dude. Cause I, <laughs> I, had, I had a bunch of yeah. people like, like I had people tell me that was good. Like, like uh, I had a bunch of people who I like respected, like, you got to see this. It's really good. And like people whose like comedy opinions I respect to like aren't PC. They're like, they did a really good job. And it just seemed like such a fucking cop out to me because what that, epi- it feels like what that episode is saying is uh, we actually had good pure intentions the whole time. No, so the joke try. was making fun of gay, like a guy being no, closeted no. gay. Did you yeah. see the episode, Robbie? No, I don't. I mean, that's what they're com- they're trying to like cover their ass for all their jokes, of, like uh, their problematic it, it is, jokes. It is genuinely like the most disappointing episode in the whole show because it. Just, I saw it, it. Yeah, I thought it sucked. Yeah, it just, I like it was so bad dancing, and then Frank is like, "Oh, I understand being gay now." And they, yeah, it's because do you, do you know what sucks? It's because Always Sunny was grandfathered in with, from all these woke people before they became like scolds, so they already liked it back in the day, and they loved it because like, oh, they're on our side. That they're on our side now, and yeah. that's like that's like so uh, obnoxious sure. to me. It's like I wish Always Sunny could just be the same show it always was, and these fucking people could admit that uh that whatever their tastes are is just so antithetical to what to exactly what they fucking loved like recently well, yeah I mean, that's what i'm I saying guess... I, either say that you liked it or s- stop liking it 
Like don't, yeah. like, don't jump through hoops to justify why it's actually on, why it's actually good. And, and, At you know, justified. South Park, but you know, what's South funny. It's not kowtowing to any of that. Like they made like the PC babies. They made PC right. principal and, and vice principal strong lady. Oh well, yeah. But even they say like, this is the first time in our history where we can't make fun of things. Like we, we well, actually like feel like they, we can't make fun of things. That's why, like, well, they made, that's why they made Trump garrison, but dude, honestly, but now I think it, they're going to come back. I think now more than ever, like with like smugness the way it is, dude. I, I do think, yeah, I, dude, we my, forgave my, fucking Biden, dude, and he raped a woman. We're <laughs> back, dude. Yeah. We well, just the fact that like, dude, back in the fucking White House <laughs> when in 2016 they said this will never happen again. And ha ha ha, dude, we got an even older, more powerful rapist in the White House. Now I have a competent rapist you thought old fucking goofy donald this is a fucking rapist that can like do shit now and get and clearly get away with it Holy we shit, won dude. dude that was that was crazy that tara reed came out and well, kamala she definitely lied, kamala I mean, herself yeah tara reed is tara reed is such, yeah kamala it's like crazy that she'd say she believes her and then be and then and then kamala also like went after biden like I was that girl. I was that little black girl, you racist old man. It's like, now, right. first of all, if you look at Tara Reid, ah, I shouldn't get into this, but it's like, <laughs> no, I dude, I, it, it was it was infuriating for me because like when that's when that story first came out, uh, someone I know, no one say any names. Oh, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, all Lauren. Right. Lauren, the person we've already talked about. Okay, has have talked about repeatedly. Well, here. she on she again, has, off again. Okay, shut up, shut up. Just <laughs> it's not it's it's not Lauren. And uh, <laughs> somebody was telling me because I was talking about that, and this is someone who has scolded me for just like asking women out because oh, that's like a tattoo. Okay, it's Lauren. Okay, it is, oh, it is Lauren. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but she she even was like. I don't know if I believe this Tara Reed thing. That that's the thing. The only reason that story Lauren like, doesn't believe Tara Reed, but like Lauren. that's why. Like it, the Democrats should have just admitted that "believe all women" is a dumb moniker because, like, okay, yeah, maybe if they're politically motivated and mentally ill, maybe get, take it with a grain of salt, take but it seriously, Robbie, no, dude, Robbie, they, 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 all seriously, women, and all women investigate are it. Ill. Dude, they right. said they said believe. Here, they didn't say give a shit about. Here, they just here's, said believe, dude. You don't have to yeah. care that it happened. Just believe that it did. Here's my thing with the believe all women shit, and 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 all movements, especially coming from like liberal Democrats, um, not necessarily like leftists. So I think of more integrity generally. Um, but the believe Seth all Simons, women, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. Do we got another, we got another hour in the tank here? <laughs> yeah, we finally brought him up. <laughs> uh, sex no, like, i can i dude i can even appreciate like where they're coming from with like the belief. like obviously like there's still bad shit that's happening to women and like people get away right with right stuff but but just the fact that like suddenly who, like who's the bitch from charmed um oh Alyssa milano, uh, Alyssa no. milano. yeah the fact yeah. that the fact that Alyssa milano like the minute uh somebody on her side gets me too she turns around and says well obviously we, we didn't mean all women and you don't like, right you're not a credible source it's like go fuck yourself like what like, what do you stand for yeah i mean like oh, yeah look at, i'm sorry Nick, look are, at, you uh, saying, are you saying that women are, are you saying that women are inconsistent and don't know what they want i mean <laughs> is that what you uh, okay uh, i'm trying here, to make here, a, here's the I, problem though also <laughs> it's like nobody nobody's on the same page with <laughs> It's the same thing with the uh, uh, abolish the police earlier. It was like it's the mm -hmm. same thing with believe all women. It's like when something clearly comes out that challenges that like at first like all or nothing kind of slogan. Like, well, we didn't be mean believe all women, and then the other half of liberals like, no, no, we actually do believe. We actually do mean that. And same with like abolish the police. We're like, well, how are we gonna do that? And be like, well, we don't actually mean that. And then the other half are like, no, 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 actually we do mean that. So it's like, well, we're your messaging sucks. Then <laughs> your messaging is confusing. It's in, also in that case. It's funny to see the abolish like somebody like abolish the police liberals, who I would argue are people who like are just waving the banner and probably don't necessarily grasp like what they're just like saying it because it's the fucking thing to say. Yeah. They were the first people who were like, why aren't the Capitol Police shooting these protesters? It's crazy. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh yeah, dude. The same people that are like a cab or calling the FBI because yeah, but then, like, then <laughs> yeah. like the mental gymnastics of like no that's not what defund the police means it means defund the police except when I need them to <laughs> yeah right. yeah right. yeah there were right. some people who are like well at first it was abolish the police and they're like well defund the police and I'm like well by defund the police we mean still give them funds but in different ways it's like yeah. that's not what you were fucking defund, saying defund all of the police in black neighborhoods but leave the police in my neighborhood exactly right. yeah yes i mean li like 
Yeah. Uh, it's like a ch- it's childish. I mean, because they did do that, like fucking Chaz or whatever, right? The a- autonomous right. zone, and they just started killing black people anyway. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's... yeah. And one of and one of the black people that got killed, his name was Autonomous. <laughs> <laughs> and he was killed by a guy named Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> the biological desire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I was re- at the beginning of this episode. I was like, oh, I think I might have said, I think I might have came off too racist too quick, but no, no, you guys caught up. No such thing on the loud boys, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're having Nicholas J. Fuentes on the next episode. Yeah, it's a, this is a safe spot, man. You right. can you can goof around and not. No, we're all ready. mixed race here. You yeah, know? yeah. I'm 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 whatever I feel like on a on a particularly sunny day. Yeah, the same way that gender is a construct, I say race is a construct. It's really? getting there, and you know, do you think we're gonna I, yeah. forgive that one woman who who was like in the NAACP? What's oh Dolezal? Dolezal? Yeah, Rachel. Yeah, Dolezal. it's crazy because wasn't she like she was like an upstanding member of her community? Like yeah. she like did yeah, she tried things. her best to what? What'd you say about her, Joe? That she was like the ultimate package? <laughs> what, what did I say? Oh. Do you remember what you said? <laughs> I you think said I she do. was the ultimate. She was like a person helping black people with the intelligence of a white person or something. Oh, yeah. That was one of our early episodes. <laughs> early <laughs> cut, yeah. Nice, dude. Well, we it's should, like, we I, should try to find that episode and, and cut in that audio right there. It's in yeah. our best of. I, I, so I check out. Uh, oh, wonderful. Ch- Best of part two, Joe. Oh, <laughs> Joe says about Warren scalp the patriarchy and then drops that dole is all bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, dude, that was those were some back to back hot takes. My yeah. dole is all take is I feel like her confidence came from like pretending to be a black woman to the point where she actually gave birth to like black sons. Like I feel like the minute you like push, <laughs> like you literally give birth to like black babies, you got to be like, damn, I'm. I'm really doing this. Like, I think I, I think I made it to home base. I yeah. do, I do be doing this. <laughs> I really, damn, I do be doing this. Though. I do, yeah. be, I do, I do be, be like that. I, I do be like that though. <laughs> I'm, I'm, hey, look, hey, look, I've been done knowing I'm actually black. I've been done knowing I'm actually black. It just, I'm, I'm go, sh- I, how you gonna need a bat? <laughs> I'm, I just like, I'm sure in her head like the minute she had those black kids like all her stars in gca disappeared she's like nice she's like I, she's like i beat the heat i'm in yeah i think we should um to really get to the bottom of this we should study the shape of her skull oh my god is that Guillermo, <laughs> that's Guillermo del toro's next movie the shape of yeah. skulls <laughs> the shape of skulls <laughs> It's just about a woman who falls in love with a black guy. It's it's about a disgusting, unnatural relationship. The shape shape of vitamin water. (laughs) (laughs) The shape of the shape of lean. I was going to say the shape of Mio. (laughs) The shape of Sprite. Yeah, the shape of uh, Arizona. Oh my fucking god, dude! Holy shit! (laughs) <laughs> oh wow man. you guys fuck you guys fucking party on this podcast oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, no yeah. no boundaries no rules we're gonna we're all gonna probably at some point get in big big trouble <laughs> yeah what do you think we're though. gonna get in trouble someday absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> dude, 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 the day, much just like papa john once said the day of reckoning is upon us <laughs> And like the funny thing is, like by the time like you know it gains like that kind of notoriety, like I'm gonna be like in my deep 30s, like I'm gonna be like a fucking adult, and like to yeah. be like an adult who gets in trouble for their podcast, that's hilarious. Right, you'll finally have like walked away from the industry. Yeah, well, yeah. the industry yeah. is dead. The industry yeah. is, is good and dead. Like, well, podcast. so that's where like you know Barn Dog and I talk about this too, where it's like, will we get interest? Like, should we be worried? But it's like there's there's no chance that either of us are like taking the traditional path. So like, what are they going to do? Like cancel us from our own audience? Exactly. So. No, yeah. yeah. There, there is no traditional path anymore, dude. I mean, it's like, you know, we, what do we got? We got p- podcasting. We got TikTok. We're good. Yeah. We're set. You got TikTok. All, yeah. It's live. I, I mean, dude, I have I, the app. I've never made a TikTok. I don't even know how to work. I it. can't wait. I, I get like in two weeks, Dalton's going to be on TikTok doing those like, 
have you seen that one where it's like so why do good girls like bad and then like they put oh, the yeah. into the camera yeah and then, and then like you'll be in like a leather jacket with hair slicked back and all that shit Ugh. i want to see that from you dude TikTok i want to see you like sucks yeah i'm gonna do uh, one like that's gonna guys don't worry though um, i blocked rate- Wait, i blocked no. seth simons from our twitter so we're i think we're all right oh okay. yeah it'll be fun oh yeah he blocked me like a year ago oh really yeah, because I kept commenting the picture of the pig shitting on its own balls on like every one of his posts. <laughs> and, I remember that. Yeah, and he blocked me. Well, before I knew who he was, I like when he tweeted the clip of um Matt and Shane. I like because I didn't know he was like a person. I just directly responded to him. I was like, "Why are you tweeting this? This is such a good joke." Like, yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Nick was one of the first ones on there. Like, this is a good bit. This is a good. Yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah dude. Yeah, I you know. I don't understand what's going I, on. I remember like when Shane got canceled, I, people were messaging me, me shit that day because I was the last tweet that he liked. And like they were oh, like that. Oh, oh my God. They were like that psychotically upset at him that like people were DMing me and adding me. And I was like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Yeah, that was like a real mob. It was like mob mentality, like, truly mob mentality. Yeah, really. I don't understand how people can think that that kind of behavior is acceptable like even if even if you believe what someone did was wrong to like do shit like that i i don't know that's like people who are who are upset their own careers and searching for meaning in the world and they, so they think they can make a difference by joining the mob it's the same shit as the capital dude it's the same mentality yeah I yeah i mean it. i don't i don't know i just it you know when you it's it's like that movie the craft when you curse someone it comes back on you times three <laughs> It's and like I mean, that's that. And look, Seth Simons, where is he now? In fucking Boise, Idaho, in his mom's basement. Right. Is he? Yeah. I wasn't oh, expecting God. a craft pull from Yeah. Dalton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Dalton's the craft, big whore. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese. We, uh, oh, you vote. <laughs> you know what? I still like it Thanks. because I'm overweight. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dalton. Yeah. You and Nick are both big horror nerds. So. We should yeah. have talked about that earlier. The but... Craft is not a horror movie. It's like it's a, like a it's chick like a... movie. That's why I was surprised. Like... It's a... Oh, dude, I watched it all the time when I was a kid. I <laughs> Firuza Balk is forever. I mean, she's the original Resident Evil 8 big bit. I was going to say, now I'm starting to fucking see everything yeah. fall into place. Yeah, dude. Pale skin, scary teeth. Oh, oh dude, now, yeah. I'm, now, now I'm Balk... getting horny. <laughs> yeah dude Faruza Balk has some wild fucking teeth dude. have you seen have you seen um the Nicolas Cage movie Bad Lieutenant the Herzog Nicolas Cage movie yeah it's Bad great. Lieutenant Port of Call New Orleans yeah. of course yeah. so she's she's in it and there's a scene where she sleeps with him and dude like when she takes off her clothes it looks like she's dying like it looks like she's like terminally ill oh dude she has not aged well no she looks bad no. it's a bummer Cause she's so yeah. hot in the water, boy. She's dude, Vicky Valancourt. Oh, is, oh Vicky Valancourt. I mean, yes. Oh my god. Now queen. we're talking. Now we're talking my language. I didn't know who we were talking about. If so now I'm, dude, if Firuza Balk was the voice, if Firuza Balk was the voice of the big bitch, I mean, per perfection. Oh, fuck, <laughs> somebody, it, she, somebody should make that happen. Yeah. Be the, the way, change. The be the change you want to see in this world. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I would love it if Firuza Balk. Maybe if they do another Resident Evil movie, uh, we can get Firuza Balk oh, as the as big, the big awesome. bitch. Well, yeah. no, because like Kiefer Sutherland started voicing the dude from Metal Gear Solid. So like maybe if you start a petition, dude, they'll they'll get a celeb uh, voice actress for the big bitch. Oh, Assuming she, she makes it through, I hope she makes it through. I'll oh, be so dude. devastated. I, yes, I hope she survives, and then she's your teammate in part nine. Dude, how fucked up would it be? Is like you. <laughs> and then it, it to turns the into like of it turns into like Leisure Suit Larry, and it's just a fucking game. <laughs> it's like a breastfeeding game. She feeds. Yeah. Like, that's how you like, like regain health. <laughs> Resident yeah, Evil Nine. Yeah, you nurse. have to say. Resident Evil Nine. Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if Dalton got to the end and he had to kill the big bitch, he just put the controller down. And oh, would, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Dalton killer. I I was I joked about that online that when that game comes out like years years after it comes out I'll be on one of those like strange addiction shows where I'm because I'm in love with the big bitch <laughs> and I'm trying to and I'm trying to figure out what like if if is there a way for me to marry my PlayStation Five <laughs> oh fuck dude 
I never even beat the game. It's like seven years later. I still haven't beaten it, but I just you've keep never, letting. You've never taken it out of the disc slot. The, yeah, no. I will. I'll take it out and put it back in. Take it out, and put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for Big Bitch. I can't wait. That's, That's yeah. Tough, you know, things are going to be looking up. Things are already looking up. We're they should have called it. They should have called it Resident Evil Big Bitch, and one of the bees <laughs> is an eight. Dude, they should. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say they should have called it like they should. They should have just made it the thing like spelling boobs on the calculator. It's just Resident Evil eight zero zero eight five. Yeah, Resident <laughs> Evil boobs. And can, the, and can the other eight be like a racetrack, like Mario? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh fuck! Oh. Mm. All right. Should we bring it in for a landing? Nick, let's thank you very let's much. Just, let's just do a let's just let, look. Let's promise to stay friends forever, even after this podcast is over. Oh, Nate, well, Nate, we should I have you back. Fucking, I would love this was one of the most fun yeah. times I think I've ever had doing a podcast. This well, is a oh, hell yeah. Dude, nice. you yeah, should, you should the see next when one, we're in person. The next one we're gonna have Brendan on, and may, maybe later we do a, a full coward hour swap cast. That would oh, yeah, be, be really sick. Dude, it would be fun whenever things aren't crazy. I'd love to like come hang out with you guys. It'd be cool to do like yeah. an actual like in-person yeah. podcast. That'd be sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That'd be all awesome. right, man. Yeah. Well, open invite. Anyone you, anytime you want to come on, even one of these Zoom bullshits would be fun. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. Well, hell yeah. Thank uh, you guys for having me. Anything you want to plug for, for anyone who's listened three hours into this episode? Uh, uh, maybe we uh, maybe we can split it up into two. What do you think? Nah, dude, oh, release it all, dump it all on them at once. Really? You think yeah, so? Mega episode. No, it's a like good flow. You, there's not really a place. I don't think there's like a place where there's a natural break to reset. I think we should just put the whole thing out as one big ass fucking episode. But they know this is an exception to the rule, and we don't always have three hours of pure gold for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nick, but Robbie, Nick, I will say you got to title the episode "Big Bitch." Big you bitch. Have to. Okay. You have to. What, can we, how about big Resident asterisk, Evil Big asterisk. Bitch? Resident Evil Big Bitch. That that's good. Okay, that's no, good. No, Big Eight I T C H. Yeah, <laughs> Resident Evil Big Eight I T. Yeah. Okay, that might be all right. That might it, that just might look too yeah. stupid on iTunes. But. <laughs> 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 and, and then people and then people will have to listen to three hours to understand it. <laughs> dude, but like honestly, like it's gonna make it worth it. Yeah, dude, it'll be worth the, it. The people that get that joke are gonna fucking love it. Yeah. <laughs> we get one unhinged DM. Hey, I really appreciated that talk. It, <laughs> it would be worth it. Dude, I tell you what, a lot we got a lot of people that love the cool less. They love that's when, true. Yeah. About the cool no, we're getting we don't have a ton of downloads, but the people who love us really like us. So thank you well, very I, much. I, I will definitely I, I feel like Coward Out listeners are really gonna like this one. I, nice. I, we'll, we'll we'll pump this up in the Discord and make sure people come listen to this. But uh the only thing, yeah. the only thing I have to plug is uh if you have listen to Coward Hour if you like this, and that's it. All right, awesome. All right, thank you everybody. Thanks, everyone. Good night, everybody.